<laughs> All right. So, yep, Sam's playing the Fishman uh, Tonga Wirio. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. Uh, who's next? Uh, I'll take the floor. Fuck it. Uh, go for it, dude. Um, hi, I'm Dakota. I'm playing Snyder. Uh, pronoun Scrim Bimbus. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah. All right. I realized I'm my camera's right there, but I'm looking far over to the <laughs> right because I'm on a TV and not a desk. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've come a long way. You used to use your PS4 when you would, uh, when we would uh, do World Twenty. That was a fucking. mm, That was. I made it work. You you did. (laughs) Oh well. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna move this to my desk real quick. Bear with me. All right. Uh, In the meantime, uh, Micah. Hmm. Oh, want to tell everyone about? character and stuff for introductions yes I will meet obviously you. my name is micah he said so yes i uh i am playing the captain named akizu blackburn captain of the blackburn pirates and she is an elbaf giant hybrid with the long leg tribe half giants for days Ooh, that was a nice d20. Who rolled that one? Was not me. Oh, I see. Yeah. I think it fits the uh, couch. Yeah, yeah, that looks very nice. I like that. Uh, Sienna? My name is Sienna, and to be used to moon, I'm a mink bunny. Yeah. Gotta love the mink bunnies. Ah, much better. And finally, we have our second devil fruit user of the party. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that I have a devil fruit as well. I'm Josh. I'm My character is Kilogore. And my... Yeah, that's it. I'm not very good at <laughs> He survived a genocide and shit. It's okay. My dream is to re- repopulate my race. <laughs> That's the race? most bardish dream ever. By any means necessary. What, what race are you? Uh, he's a Lunarian. And what is that? Uh, basically, they got wings, and uh, Josh, he's never seen One Piece. So, Lunarians are a, a race of people that are, like, essentially... Like, like hell angels. We can, in, we can get into the visual description when we see you. Alright. They're, yeah. really, they're really big, really fast, they burn, and they have black wings. With white hair. So they look yeah. like humans with black wings. Yeah. They're Imagine shame. Lucifer from the show Lucifer, but actually cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shade thrown at, at the start. I'm just calling it how I see it. Okay, so w- Sam's going to be uh, starting off in the town. Uh, are the uh, rest of you three going to be starting together as a uh, as a ramshackle crew? I was already on the crew for a year. Okay. Okay, so you talk to you talk to her about that then. I I just put myself in the. <laughs> All right, so, uh, so Calgore and Akisu, uh, you're you're on a small, uh, like maybe fifteen foot long, uh, bit of a boat. It, it's not much, but it, it it's what you managed to put together, and you're just kind of like, uh, coming into the harbor with. If around midday, not not too uh, much of a breeze going on, so you're just kind of like coasting right in on what little bit you could catch on your sail. Uh, the whole place is just bustling. Yeah, you got seagulls uh, all over the place, and you got pirates. You you got 
fishermen. Uh, everyone's just kind of all going back and forth at, at the port. And as you kind of like find yourself at a small little dock to the side, r- right off out of the way, it, you kind of pull up, latch onto the uh, little things on the dock, and a, a dock man uh, comes up to you. Oh, hello. W- welcome. Uh, what's your business for pleasure? We're just stopping in. Ah, very good. Uh, we we do have a, a small uh, 500 berry docking fee for, for a vessel of your size. There you go. Wanna... Oh. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, now that you're standing up, uh, but you are quite a tall pair. Uh, you, you, you know, ha- enjoy the night market. You got uh, something it's... wrong with us being tall? Uh, he's like, he kind of just gestures to himself at all uh, four foot six of him, and he's just like, <laughs> just afraid I'll get stepped on. Uh, uh, have a good day. <laughs> Don't you worry, little lady. I won't step on you. <laughs> he, he scurries on uh, up the pier. All right. So, it, who's on the crew right now? Uh, current. Is it just me and uh, him? Yeah. Yeah, you and Calgore so far. Okay. Kilgore. 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 Uh, I'll, I'll get it, it right. Kilgore or Kilgore? Kilgore. Well, your right. name is a uh, villain straight out of a Deadpool movie. <laughs> <laughs> I I I based it off of um, Carol Gore from Shadow of War, but uh, I instead of actually being Carol Gore, it was. Is there a Mortal Kombat character named Kilgore? Uh, probably. Oh. That sounds like Mortal Kombat. Oh. If not, it should be. <laughs> it's to about to be name. with your character description. I ended up being a pretzel company, so. <laughs> All right. Snyder's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Sam, I would imagine. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I, I, you know what? You're right. It is Killer Instinct. It's <laughs> better than Mortal Kombat. <laughs> So as uh, as Akisu and uh, Kilgore uh, come into the uh, plaza, like getting uh, off of the docks, you, you see the, the people are just kind of going about their day, women with their children, uh, just uh, fetching groceries from the market, and uh, uh, sailors just uh, shouting back and forth. You do see a, a, a rather... L- very blue fishman uh, hauling a fresh catch uh, with him uh, towards the market. That's you, Sam. Little... <laughs> I'm going to walk up to him. And I'm going to say, hey, that's a pretty good catch you got there. Uh, you're quiet. Who, me? Uh, Sam. Sam? I can't hear you. It sounded like you were very far away. Yeah, because it's probably picking up on my mic. Hello? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, What time of day is it? It's uh, about midday. Midday? So, okay. Probably not the first catch of the day, but like... (laughs) A a fresh catch. (laughs) So, um, how much am I carrying? Uh, You know what? Uh, Give me a... Just roll a d20, just flat out. Right off the bat, roll a d20. Okay. (laughs) First roll of the game. Oh, okay. It, it's a modest, uh, uh, they're all fresh, and, you know, you can only really uh, get the, uh, the the speckled uh, mackerel this time of day. And, and... Uh, so, so as you walk over, I look down at it, and I go, look up at you. Ah, uh, well, you know, nothing too special so far. What's a tall lady like you doing around here? I'm just looking for people to fill my crew. I kind of raise my eyebrow at that. I look at the guy behind you. Insert the rock. Crew, you say? <laughs> yep. yep. What kind of, what kind of crew? 
We're going to sail the seas and to find the one piece. Had to chuckle. <laughs> you know what? Walk with me. I'll kind of gesture over to my shop. Uh, How I can much probably taller see am I? Yeah. Uh, you're about a... 12 uh, foot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like five feet. <laughs> okay. And some change. <laughs> a whole nother human. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, I think I'm tall for my race, but like, <laughs> no, no, your race is actually pretty tall. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. The fishmen are, are maybe I'm short. Pretty... Yeah. Yeah. No, fishmen I'm... are usually like seven, eight feet. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty the... tall. People in One Piece are just yeah. tall, dude. <laughs> Even like the well, people. Pokemon gave us an unreal definition of character to creature proportions. I mean, considering how the average Blastoise is the same size and height as the average American woman, yeah. I mean, look, Ash was out here carrying 15-ton animals on his back. <laughs> or you are. What, uh... What's the word? You know how, like, I'm the captain and, like, a shipwright, blah, 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 blah navigator. Blah. What is Kiligore? He's a musician. A musician, musician. Yeah. okay. Like your bard. Yeah. Okay. I'm the doctor. <laughs> and doctor? So, uh, I. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Doctors Sorry. don't just fall from the sky. <laughs> so I kind of lead you back uh, down the road a bit to my shop. Um, as we approach, you can see. Uh, uh, you want to go ahead and describe it, all right? Yeah. So as you uh, approach, you you do see a kind of there, there's just a big mixture of people uh, going about. Uh, there are like uh, some stalls where uh, the, the people are getting like a the fresh tap. Like a, you can tell that a, a lot of the uh, pirate and rough dressed folk are as they're kind of like getting up. They have that very oh just woke up from a hangover kind of vibe going about them. And you you see like a, some bar salts just starting to open up, and, and as you pass some of them, like a, one of them just uh, kind of like stumbles backward, like big uh, thing full of ale, and he just kind of like trips back, and it's like, Ugh! and then just looking up at you, oh, that's a whole lot of woman. <laughs> Go on, TV, get out of here. <laughs> Keep it moving. <laughs> oh, Tonga. Is she with you? <laughs> uh, for now, we'll see. <laughs> Save some for the rest of us. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you the same thing about those drinks. <laughs> uh, you, you know I don't share. <laughs> and he just sips a whole deep. What do you well, share for me? And I just chime in <laughs> saying what I want to share. <laughs> And then just so, uh, uh, one of his buddies like, uh, pl please, please, uh, c c come on, come on, lady. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later, Steve. <laughs> got some bits. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. If this man wants to give me a, a drink, I'll take it. I, I'll, I'm not going to sit, though. He can just give I'll, it to me. I won't say no to free alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> his, his, uh, Scruffy buddy with like a really thick beard that like, comes up and he, he's just like, hey, here, this one's on me. <laughs> and just like, and he kind of like gives a, like an awkward wink. Like, a... <laughs> <laughs> that's how you treat a lady. <laughs> I kind of just, <sighs> yeah, he starts like nudging his buddy. He's like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I kind of gesture over to a stall. You can see several boxes kind of piled up on the side with various wares in it. You can see like trinkets and you know uh, weaponry. You can see a few bits of armor. Nothing too crazy. You can see kind of like a small grill in the back. Uh, I have several like hung fish or slabs of meat in the window. Uh, you look up at my sign and it's a wooden carven big blue dragon with the in black decal blue dragon yeah stuff. blue dragon and uh i guess as you look over i kind of gesture uh good i have tribusa at the stand she'll help us out and, huh uh, i kind of gesture over to 
the uh, white furred mink standing at the stall <laughs> as we approach. That's you, Tiana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna like look at you guys, like waiting for you guys to like something. <laughs> so anyway, I'm looking for um a good pirate crew to join. And I came to this town looking for recruits. You guys are you pretty strong? Because you're not pretty strong. We're we're merchants. But you could be. Why would we want to be? For freedom, for the One Piece. Freedom in the One Piece. Huh? The freedom <laughs> to sail the world without having any rules to follow. Just do what you want. I do like the sound of that. I come, I'm trying, I come I'm trying to become the next pirate king, king, and I need a good crew on my set, on my by my side. I come stumbling in the door, asking the captain, "Would you you want me to test how strong they are?" Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look over, <laughs> look at you, Visa. <laughs> how do you, you want to test them? <laughs> I have a small ship for now, but we are looking to expand. I'm hoping to find a shipwright or of some kind to join my crew. I'm the shipwright. Well, this is my lucky day. <laughs> well, Bun, we were talking about going on an adventure soon. I'm getting sure. kind of tired of this town. Yeah, See, that's it, what I'm saying. We become friends, right? We become this will very pay. Will there be? The freedom is your payment. And the friendship <laughs> of me and Kilgore and anybody else who joins is payment. The payment is the friends you make along yeah. the way. Uh, the person <laughs> who wants to fight us. Gotcha. And as you <laughs> say <laughs> that, uh, you hear just a, a little uh, voice uh, from the, the side of the counter. And, and treasure, right? And you yes, just, uh, and treasure. If you find any treasure on any adventures we go on, it's basically ours. And then, uh, Tonga, you look over at the voice. Yeah, you recognize it. It's a little uh, red-haired uh, 12-year-old that visits your stall frequently. Yeah. <laughs> What's this kid's name? <laughs> uh, Rory. <laughs> ah, welcome, Rory. Uh, we're, we're having a little bit of a business conversation. Do you mind waiting a bit? Uh, Tonga, are you going to be a pirate? Uh, of I don't course know. he is. You know I like to go where the scene takes me. If you go, you, you gotta take me with you. I I can't stand, like, I have to steal from all these people all the time. And, like, uh, Mrs. Jennings, like, pretends to look the other way. And, like, it, it's all charity. I'd like to earn my own way, you know? Look, man, I told you a dozen times, you don't have to steal. You could just get a job. Nonsense. Here, <laughs> take 500 berries. Go buy yourself <laughs> some food. Fuck Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he takes it and he runs off to get himself like a button button or some shit. I tried to tell that kid if we don't the steal from, from the less fortunate. Five hundred berries. I'm trying to eat too. <laughs> Never steal from the working man. <laughs> Just not stealing if I give it. I mean, fair. Mm. But look, you, you talk, talk about, about adventure, adventure, wanting freedom. freedom. You want to know if we're strong enough to take it? Are you? I am. I'm the captain of this crew. Why wouldn't I be strong? And you, Kilker? Are you strong? You are asking me if I'm strong. His name is Kilgore. <laughs> <laughs> He's got kill in his name. It's true. And I kind of, <laughs> I kind of look <laughs> look down at Jabusa. I kind of let out my long dreads, kind of whip them out. Which... Well, <laughs> I'd like to know how strong you are. Well, let's go outside. Why don't we take this to the backyard? <laughs> I kind of, I kind of lead you through the stall. Uh, there a, is an arena. Yard in the 
Oh, there's an arena? Okay, we can just get to the arena then. There's an arena? Oh, there's an arena downtown. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, so Pickering Square in Bangor? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pickering Square is where you go to get a, a very disgruntled whore. Oh. I went on a stone's throw, so I had to make the joke. <laughs> I I went there one time with my dad, and we just uh, pull up uh, to past all the buses, and then just uh, some whore hops up like, hey, boys, want a good time? And I'm just... <laughs> Bro, people are bold downtown. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, I guess now would probably be a good time for uh, introductions and like visual descriptions, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, we will end up having Dakota's character coming in just a bit. Okay. Now, question: yeah, I started up. off with the horse was fruit, right? Yes. Yeah. At, okay, okay. At some point in your backstory, you obtained this. You're like, this is my chance, or maybe by accident. Yeah, who knows? Only you. So, okay. You were just uh, starving, and you really needed food. <laughs> I guess starting, I guess starting with you, what do you look like? You know, now that we're all kind of looking at each other, you know, what are we, what are we seeing? Um, uh, I'm probably about eight, nine feet tall, just wearing. At this point, raggedy clothes. I've got white hair with black streaks in it. So, and then I'm just, I got tannish brown skin. Mm. Cool. And some wings on the back. <laughs> and a big, raunchy fella. Nice, nice. This sheet does not look done. All right. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Micah, what what does your character look like to everybody? As we walk through this arena, <laughs> imagine a beautiful woman in one piece, right? Yeah, like yeah. generic. Mummy, up pasted. There's a theory behind that one, actually. Well, she's got a uh, long pink hair. She's wearing like crop top with like a mini skirt and boots. Yeah, uh, that's why the guy that was drinking was so happy to fall down in front of her. <laughs> yeah, honestly, he could probably see up the skirt. Uh, uh, she, is she, is she running her. around commando? Is that what this is? No, no, no. <laughs> this, this seems a <laughs> dangerous her, place. She'd be flashing everybody, just walking down the street. <laughs> Listen, I got a pair of I got a pair of black underwear under there. Okay, <laughs> just a pair of spandex shorts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, she's like, she's uh super skinny, but like really muscular. Okay, like a, right. a, a slight build. Yep. Typical buff yeah. mommy. I'm kind of as, buff. As we're walking to this arena and I'm giving, yeah. you know, them the inspection, uh, do I see any like weapons on them or am I picking up any like? Yeah, so I keep my uh, slingshot strapped on my back. Okay, yeah. So anything obvious. And I keep my rapier strapped to my waist. And my what kind of vibe? My... Slingshots of ballista, gotcha. Like, well, that's a question for them, I guess. Yeah, okay. I mean, I guess my vibe would be like dangerous, beautiful woman. <laughs> gotcha. Because she's got I... muscles, you know? So you know she's strong. And she's like... She so the can... goth chick at the end of the bar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that That's the one. The muscly goth chick, mommy. That, that That's it. I guess How mine would be, oh. I guess mine would be the big drunk guy ready to fight everyone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you you do see that he has a uh, a couple instruments uh, strapped across. Okay, okay. So I'm definitely getting the bard. Yeah, I'm kind of an spider with the rapier. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you can see as we leave my stall, um, I'll probably grab like my. Uh, what are they called? Drawing a black. <laughs> Describe them. So, yeah, I can go ahead and give a description. I'm trying to remember what my weapon is called. <laughs> now, you can call them whatever you want. Like, hell, you can name your weapons. So, um, I'm about five, three or so, or not five, sorry, six, three or so. Fairly tall. I have a log black jacket. Not me forgetting to feed my dog. <laughs> Long black uh, decals on it. You can see I have a deep blue skin with black kind of uh, almost like tattoos 
but it's you know you tell that it's a part of my scale color. All right. Uh, I have a wide kind of uh, shark-like jaw at first glance, and as you kind of you know inspect a little bit more, kind of see that the teeth are on a line. Some are bigger than others, but they kind of give you like it gives me like this constant like almost malicious grin, but you know. You can tell I have a friendly disposition. Imagine Shinra when it's happening. Yeah, yeah. From, yeah uh, basically, Shinra. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I was so, thinking, too. Yeah, and then I have a long, like, dark brown dreads. And then, as you can see, just barely, uh, there's, like, a faint blue tip to the end of each dread. It almost okay. looks like a bee. All right, cool. I have, a, like, a, almost like a shiny silver eye. Yeah, and on on the way to the arena, both Tonga and I are talking to uh shit. What's what's your character's name, Mika? Akizu. Ak- Akizu on what the ground rules are for this to see how strong each other really are. Yeah. Uh, you could also just call her captain. Did you, <laughs> did you come with us, Sienna? Or yeah. staying at- okay, cool. I'm like in the back and I'm yeah. trying not to be noticed, but I'm excited for the fight. <laughs> yeah. You want to go ahead and describe yourself? So I'm a mink and I'm a bunny character. I'm all white and then I have overalls on and just like a white shirt. And you can see like in my belt that I have like some gardening tools and I'm just like really like energetic, like excited to hop <laughs> into the new there. Yeah. Cute. All right. So uh, after uh, kind of wading through uh, the crowd, it's not as thick as it usually would be uh, during the nighttime when the uh, zoo pirates and the uh, Thai uh, and the Thai man pirates uh, would normally be about uh, doing their rounds. The what? Uh, the uh, there's two uh, local pirates. Uh, Tonga would know about them because uh, he, he's been around for a bit. Yeah, yeah, I can kind of be giving you guys the rundown of the area. So uh, I assume you guys are fairly new to these parts. I kind of point out the uh, local pirate groups. Yeah, as uh, he's pointing them out, you look amongst the stalls and you see the reoccurring uh, Jolly Roger of each of the respective pirates uh, being marked on individual stalls, like more on one side than the other, but they kind of like get a little mixed as you go further and further into the central hub. And as far as uh, Tonga knows, the general consensus is that the captains of both of these crews about 19 years ago had a big fight that ended in a stalemate. And they've kind of just both settled here, unwilling to leave the island for fear that the other one would take over in their place, but haven't had the courage right. to fight each other since. Wow, these pirates suck. Like a rival gang situation. Yeah, like, they're both too stubborn to actually leave, because they don't want the other one to have it. Yeah, okay. I kind of tell you all this, and I kind of say it in my breath. Personally, I don't care if either of them fucks off. I would kind of like to see something new take over. Mm-hmm. You know, fun times maybe ahead. Well, if you come with me, you won't have to worry about it, because I'm not staying here. Uh, they know better than to come around my in my stall. <laughs> oh, really? Everyone has heard my deeds. Wait. Well, I haven't. Kind of chuckle. You will. Oh yeah, you definitely is... will. And then you just like see Rory just pop right back up <laughs> with a cinnamon bun. <laughs> Tog is like really awesome around here. <laughs> Rory, did you pay for that? What do you got a fan club or something? <laughs> no, just oh, really kid. Rory here. Uh, I found him in a let's say less than happy situation on a rival ship as I was fishing one day. Yeah, it's a... Like, I, I heard my mom died in, like, childbirth, and then, like, uh, my my dad was, like, uh, he was a 
a kind of a a, a pirate fisherman uh, bar fight gone wrong and I've been kind of fending my, for myself for a while, but and then, then I met T Mr. Tonga here, and he, he's pretty chill. Well, we got something in common. My mom died giving birth to me, too. I can't I imagine don't why. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was kind of a big baby. I don't remember my parents' kid, and as of knowing that Tonga is very protective of him, I pick him up, put him on my shoulder, and say, you can hang with us. Explore the sea. Holy shit, Explore I can see sea. everything from up here. <laughs> Why are you on fire? I, I, I grab him off your shoulders, and I'm like, all right, here's higher up. <laughs> this is even better. Holy shit, I can see everything Wait, you're from up here. I can see my yeah, box from here. Look. Uh, I can see everything. Uh, I can even see that guy falling off a building over there. And then just like he, he points and you just uh, see this, uh, uh, the shape of a man just kind of like falling. And it's not really clear where he's falling from, but like it just kind of like draws a crowd. And you just uh, hear like a commotion uh, as a, some as a stall kind of like uh, you hear like a big old rip through one stall and then like a, a smashing of boxes. I just kind of shake my head. <laughs> <laughs> but you're but you're also irritated that I said he could join us on the sea, even though you told him no. Yeah, you, you hear uh, <laughs> you hear one of the uh, uh, people uh, like maybe like ten feet away is like uh, fucking suicidals. Uh, they happen all the time. Like, can't they just go out and die in the ocean so they're not in, like a normal person? Like, you do it in the street, then everyone has to deal with it. Step over, clean up. It's such a fucking mess. Kids these days. And I just look over with that death glare and said, Say what now? And you just <laughs> this disgruntled old man, man walking off. <laughs> and enter uh, <laughs> Enter Snyder. Oh fuck that hurt. Was Snyder the one that did that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Is that you that fell? Um. Yep. <laughs> oh, Snyder was a nice maybe. fell. Okay. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> um. Hey, man, you good? Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't actually don't know the name of this town, so. It's called Spades Town. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, um. So. I I fell from the sky and um I need to get back home get, from the sky. From the yeah. Sky? Yeah. So uh I I um I come from a kingdom in in the sky known as A kingdom in the sky. Tonga, we found a lunatic. I I'm oh. fucking not crazy. I oh, swear. Let, let the man speak. I need to find out more. I, I am I am I'm a, I'm a member of a race called the Shandians. We're from a place called Shandora. Uh, Do you guys? Thank you. Do you people insight make check. food? Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me a roll. <laughs> Have I have I seen or heard of sky people before? Just as he's saying this, uh, m most uh, mutterings that you hear about sky people uh, would be to do with the legends of Nolan the liar. Got a yeah. Seven. So uh, about all you know about the subject is like a you picked up a book one time about the adventures of Nolan the Liar and it's like it, it mentioned something about Sky Islands but like he's a notorious liar he was like executed a couple islands over so oh, it's like you're like uh, well, whatever no one's talked about Sky Islands for a long time it's probably bullshit <laughs> well I believe it so like yeah I'm I'm a knight from my kingdom I am currently Fighting a revolution to try and take it back. Um, I, I need to get back. I need to go up. I think 
kind of walk over to well, how'd you get down here <laughs> um so i i was i was on a a a mission for my kingdom and i got lost i i stepped on the wrong cloud and um fell through <laughs> I then landed on another cloud, which drifted in a tropical storm, <laughs> and due to apparently this section of the world's climate, it dissipated, plummeting me to said where I am now. Wow! Wait. Is there like is there like a giant crater where he fell? Uh, it just a. Uh... A he bunch of scattered so broken box pieces, and then like you, you just kind of like see a. Di- a uh, older woman uh, come out. I was like, oh. you <laughs> did, did you see who did this? Uh, no, I didn't see nobody. I have no clue who. who um. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck! It was it... fucking Janice again, destroying my stuff. What, what are you doing, she thinks guys? Just because... pretty, so you have to pay for this. I'm. I'm sorry. I. <laughs> this it's this woman's livelihood. I cannot destroy it. I it <laughs> Well you already destroyed it. But now you gotta pay for it. Yeah. You didn't think it was you. <laughs> I, so it's you. I I thought for sure it was Janice. Wait, there's been some Janice? <laughs> uh, mockery afoot. There's been sabotage. And it's it's almost always Janice. Did Janice put you up to this? I'm gonna walk over to Misa. I'm just gonna kind of lower down. These people are fucking crazy, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I get to kill the drawer guy. Eventually, eventually. I I I assure you, I do not know who this Janice person is. Just how much would it take to, uh. Compensate you for my damages. Uh, she's like, just kind of like, it's, it's just a... 3,000 berry. 3,000 berry? That's highway robbery. I can, I can swing that. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, highway uh, robbery. You know maybe, broke her maybe, there, maybe there is some help here. Uh, now, uh, she, on just she, a second. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't break anything. <laughs> Listen, I fell from the sky. The least I can do is help this poor woman after I break something. I mean, you do you, man. I I am gonna do me, but I, I need help to do me in the sky. <laughs> oh, she, she's, she looks at you and she's like a little puzzled and she she takes a thousand uh, berry uh, bill off the top He's like, and gives it back to you. He's like, you know what? It, it, clearly, you need this more than I do. Like, get yourself some some medical attention. <laughs> and, and she tries to tend to like a, a the, some of her broken goods, trying to salvage what she can. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, well, uh, all all right. Um, again, I am sorry for breaking your stall. Um, please. Please have a good rest of your day. <laughs> I will until Janice shows up. She... What does that man look like? <laughs> so, uh, Snyder is about a six foot uh, three male with uh, a forward, bl- uh, not blue. Wow. Did you say three feet tall? Six foot three. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> three feet tall. Like in one piece. Right? Um. And he has a uh, like a forward like um, like brown mohawk. Nice. He has a little bit of tribal tattooing under his eyes, bare chested with a bit of um like metal scraps hanging off of him as he just fell from the sky. But it is what remains of his armor. <laughs> okay, okay. Is he fit? Um, he is like a, a slender. But kind of like a, what you'd consider a sleeper build on a person. <laughs> very, very scrawny, but muscular. Human and like skin. Um, like, uh, like a, t- a fair tannish. 
Oh, but like we're talking about like human skin, or do you have like oh, scales or something? Oh, human skin. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> like a, a tannish human skin gotcha. with uh, um. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Why am I putting you back over there? So, uh, Mr. Skyman, you want to watch a fight? I, I, I heard uh, they, they're doing a thing. Yeah, what about the tussle? Well, I mean, if if you're going for a fight, I I, I can't help but watch. <laughs> and if if anybody needs you know help afterward, I can gladly tend to any wounds that occurred during the match. So you're a doctor. Wow. Uh, to some effect, yes. Hey, why don't you join my crew? I need a doctor on my crew. We have doctors falling through Maybe the sky. Maybe we can help you out, get you back to your 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 place. Well, I would greatly appreciate help back to, um, wow. the, the 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 sky, um. <laughs> but uh, yes, I I will gladly join the crew. As as long as I can able to get to my home, good. Because you know Blue Boy over here is because I. You know what? I would love to go to the sky. I'm. I would love to go there. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna get there, but we're gonna figure it out. Because Blue Boy over here is gonna need you, that attention. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> Impress me in this ring. I'll join your little group. Maybe we'll do some good in this world. Two recruits in one day? What about you, little lady? I'm hiding. hiding. (laughs) He's just kind of like discreetly standing behind him, like peeking out from the side. Uh, I got a pat my hand on her head. (laughs) I'm like as tall as you are. Wait, how tall are you? How tall is your character? About six three, I think. Let me see. How tall is your character? Like about six. Oh. Damn, yeah. we have to go some tall people up in this book. <laughs> Ain't no short stacks in here other than Rory. No short stacks. <laughs> yeah, six three, two ninety. All right. So as you uh, approach the uh, arena, you, you see the uh, Joss and uh, Jeff just kind of like sitting off outside, kind of sleepy. Like one just kind of like cracks his head, and he's just he's just got his usual uh, green uh, and blue shirt on, just sitting there. Like, oh, Donga, a little early for the arena, isn't it? Uh, yeah. This guy wanted to uh, test my metal. Can you believe that? Yeah, well, the afternoon slots are all open. That's so good. That's good. Thing in. Oh, you know how Thank it you, goes. Man. Things pick up after 6 p.m. Sun goes down. <sighs> Zoo pirates, tie pirates to throw their uh, fighters in the ring. See where it goes from there. Ah, uh, they're not done recovering from last time. Uh, they're always swapping out their boys. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, did, I, I saw the commotion over with Miss Jennings over there. So she's still complaining about Janice? Uh, not this time. This guy fell from the sky. <laughs> oh. Well, the suicidal ones, eh? And a gesture. Not um, sure. <laughs> listen, I, if I were to kill myself, I'd choose a much more fashionable way. I just happened to fall from the sky. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> That's the story we're going with for now, Jeff. Nope. Okay. <laughs> well. Is uh, Rita 2 good? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, th- there should be a-, a crew of people in there already. There's some, some like, together around just to, you know, it- it's almost like a matinee at this point. <laughs> Go ahead, I'll give him a pat on the shoulder. Good man. <laughs> yeah, just uh, sign-ups over there. And uh, wait, I guess I'll spread some word around you. You know, in about thirty minutes. Sound good? Ah, everything started skippy. 
Come on, connection. Hmm. Can you guys hear me? Hello. Hmm. Uh, Hello. We can. Uh, uh it, the connection went bad for a little bit. I, I know it's been stormy out in my area, so it's just like that was kind of a, a expected at some point. Yeah. Can you hear us now? I, I I can hear and see everyone now, so that's good. Okay. So uh, I said, uh, well, why don't you go ahead and get the regulars in if you can? Maybe we can get some good bets on this fight. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And uh, let's see. He kind of like tries to size uh, both of you up and just like just starts taking notes on kind of getting some odds. Okay. Mm. And then Don't he just like, for those belts. Kind of gesture over. Yep. What do you think, Gilgore? I'll let you pick the rules. Anything goes. Can I look over to my man? Give him a nod. Uh, anything goes, and uh, not, not every day someone takes on Tonga, but not every day somebody comes in with wings. You must have eaten a devil fruit, sir. Something like that. Those are always the most exciting. Snyder. Devil fruit users always come in here with their high hopes. Snyder. <laughs> found powers, yes. abilities. Are you sure you're able to treat any of our wounds i i can definitely do my best i cannot promise anything but i will <laughs> do what i can to heal those in need <laughs> fear not the arena has very good healers <laughs> okay. or they do what they can <laughs> this is true <laughs> all right kind of Lead us in through the front gate. All right. So you enter. It's about a 30 by 30 uh, circular arena. And pretty standard. Kind of a uh, kind of a dirt, uh, almost sandy kind of a matting to it. And then you see like a little stairs uh, along the sides and bleachers uh, it, with like just a scattering of people. A couple of them are still uh, drunk and passed out on the stands. And then you, you kind of get like a, some children uh, in there and just a, some dads like, oh, hey, they're coming in. They're coming in. And you got the uh, announcer uh, that just a, a guy with green hair, rather uh, disheveled like in like a button up shirt that's only like half tucked. And he, he approaches both of you. He's like, okay, so, uh, name? Kilogore. Kilogore? And, uh, Tonga, yes. Uh, how, how do you, Mr. Kilogore, uh, how do you want me to introduce you? Kilogore. Okay. Kil <laughs> just just Kilogore. Okay. Uh, and then he goes off to the center, and he uh, pulls out uh, this little snail, and then he just uh, uh, presses a little thing on the side of it, and he starts talking. And you hear, like, uh, the speakers uh, in the room. He's like, uh, weighing in uh, at, w I cannot remember the weight, uh, 290 pounds and six foot three of, of the fish men from below. We have Tonga Wario and then uh, the uh, opposing corner, uh, oh, at eight foot something and over 300 pounds, the Kiligore, he's Kiligore. Uh, uh, give him a hand, everybody. <laughs> it, like, he, he's very awkward about it. It's just like, a, uh, I wish I had more to work with. <laughs> I had to give him like a knowing nod. Did what he could. <laughs> <laughs> Some people have no flair for excitement. Yeah, you, you see like uh, some mild excitement in the crowd, and they're just like, yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, it's like okay, mm, just chill, watching. Just I want to fight. Of... And then uh, you see, uh, he, as you two uh, step up uh, to these little markings in the center, just uh, some white lines. He's like, "All right, I want to fight." And he just kind of like looks at a piece of paper. A no holds barred, no rules. Uh, careful about the blood and he just like mm-hmm. uh, steps out uh, and you hear like a little ding okay I kind of Don't. pull my dual kopesh I kind of raise one up this it. man mm-hmm. wants me to join his little pirate group to stay hey, that's me not him for freedom <laughs> he oh. thinks he has power. <laughs> power. <laughs> power to bring justice to the people. So let's pass to his medal. And just and just before he finishes his speech, I say, "Shut up already and get going." <laughs> okay, uh, you two roll initiative. <laughs> Show them what the Blackburn pirates are made out of. Who the What's fuck's Blackburn? <laughs> what do What's I roll for? Pirate. <laughs> I'm still new here. What is going on? <laughs> I got the needs. Don't worry. I'll teach you everything. <laughs> what was that? Oh, that's cool. It has a little icon thing. Nice. What does? Uh, okay, so Tonga's first in initiative here. That's a cool the little initiative thing at the top. That's pretty cool. Oh. Yeah, right? So, I guess I go ahead and I pull my dual kopesh out. There's these um, kind of long, they look almost like a black bone. You can see like faint runic carvings on each side of the blade. I just kind of, let's see. All right. I'll go ahead and cast Green Flame Blade. All right. And let me watch as my body begins to glow and the color kind of travels up my arms and uh, light my weapons in a almost like a green haze. All right. All right. Uh... Roll to hit. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that. Most DMs are afraid of uh, PvP. We're going from zero to PvP <laughs> right out of the gate. Or how do I do a roll to hit on it? Uh, let's see. I believe uh, Green Flame Blade uses your uh, spell oh, attack here modifier. Go. Here we go. So just roll to attack. <laughs> My bones. I use mine. It looks like a few of you, when you uh, were putting your character art on there, uh, forgot to delete the little uh, uh, hooded thing uh, on the second layer. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't even know how to add a picture. Where are my? Uh, I don't I, either. I edited it so that you guys, like, all on your character sheet, all you have to do is click on that little hooded figure, and it'll pull up a thing so you can upload your character art. I don't have character art yet. There we go. Oh, yeah. Let's see. This is a 1d6 plus. Yeah, it, it does a thing where you can have like layers and stuff. How do you do that? Well, I, 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 I kind of messed up. School Call of Duty. Uh, Fire damage equal to charisma. It's plus five. Oh, Ryan? Yes. I kind of messed up. Yeah, Under my features, I can I no longer have active or passive abilities. <laughs> Probably fix that. I don't know how. There. Oh, <laughs> that puts it there. Now you're right, entering into the initiative order. All right. Oh, sweet. So I got a. That's not right. <laughs> Hold on, wait. It is so wrong. <laughs> yeah, that is that is not the formula. <laughs> Help. Okay, so here we go. Oh, yeah, that that's a hit. There we go. Twenty-four to hit. 
Is that with that's just one, right? I don't have multi attack, do I? You don't have multi attack. No. Okay, okay. So 24 hits. Then damage. 26. I'm so confused right now. I don't know where to find any of that. <laughs> Uh, on your sheet, uh, you'll go into like uh, features, and you have like active abilities and the. Uh, I just told you I lost those. You lost them. They're they're still there. Not on my screen. Let me close out of it and then go back in. <laughs> oh, one point of slashing damage, five points of fire damage. Okay. So yeah. he, uh, as you go and you uh, uh, slice at him with your kopesh, uh, you you feel like uh, it kind of like bite into uh, like the a piece of his armor, and uh, as flames kind of dance across uh, his body, it doesn't seem to affect him. Oh, ah, interesting. See what I mean? They're gone. Come mm. where you have no health. <laughs> Well, I did equip your dagger and rapier, so if you go to your inventory, you can just, uh, you should be able to... Oh, cool. It, it gives you the option to hit an attack button. We have no HP. Now, let me fix that, because he should have 12. I thought you said Constitution was... Hmm. Oh, I think the, the roll for everything else, right? Oh, 20 plus efficiency. That, 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 didn't, that didn't add up. Oh, that's... Okay, that max is 12. Well, you just took... Three points of damage? But <laughs> damn. I think so. This is weird. It doesn't want to work with me. Oh, now it does. What's the four? Points. Oh, I I did I did it wrong. Wouldn't it, my max yeah, be 12? Yeah, I just fixed it. Sweet. There, so you take a, one point of slashing and two points of fire damage. It's a little spicy, but not that big a deal for you. Mm -hmm. You call this flame? <laughs> <laughs> You're I like the turn to eat every now and then. I'll, let me show you flame. I take, I use my uh, spell produce flame and coat my rapier with it. And I take a lunge at Tonga, go, cutting across his chest. All right. So produce flame is a uh, action, I think. But uh, I'll let you flavor that as as you're just kind of like coating it in flame, even though it's not going to like add to it, uh, unless you just actually yeah yeah. But you're going to use a uh, produce flame to do a d8 of uh... okay. So roll to hit. Can I as a reaction? That's the twenty. That's the twenty. Uh, yes. As I... a reaction, I would like to use shield. All right. Let me watch as you go to strike my chest. But my... First, uh, we got to get him to roll to hit before we can uh, determine that part. All right, fair enough. Oh yeah, that's a plus five to my AC. Yeah. This is where this is where I'm lost because I don't know what I roll and if I add anything to it. So, well, let's see. There, I rolled it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 
Uh, when you uh, go into your spell cat, like when you look at the spell, it has standard rule, attack, damage, and information. The, these little buttons are what? below the the little buttons are below the description of your individual abilities and spells. Oh, there we are. So, a, as uh, you kind of like uh, coat your uh, rapier in fire and you take a stab at him, uh, he just. Uh, uh, how are you uh, doing your shield? So you watch as the uh, the black markings on my chest flash a bright blue as you go to strike. What's your your hit? I believe that was a total of uh, nine. That's eleven. Eleven. Yep. Eleven. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's doesn't hit. And uh, it's saying the uh, the black markings seems to stop. <laughs> You kind of deflect off my chest. All right, Tonga, your turn. Go ahead and uh, thunder smite. <laughs> um, <laughs> this guy's good. All right. Roll to hit. Well, that's what the bonus action. Yep, and then I'll go ahead and make my attack. So how does this work? Okay, so attack. Yeah, so basically you do a, a normal uh, weapon attack and that hits. 18? Yep, and uh, he has to make a uh, a strength saving throw. Mm -hmm. He's a 13 throw. Yep. Uh, if you uh, go to the attributes part of your character sheet and just click on the little strength, Above your stat, I think if you I think if you go to the chat, uh, you can click it in the little thing that I sent. I know. Oh, save and throw. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's where I, it would be under his thunder smite. Is that where I click it? Yeah. You must have one or more controlled tokens in order. What? Oh, that's because. <laughs> We're doing this a little bit more off the cuff, so if you just click the strength on your character yeah. sheet, it should just uh, do a saving throw. Yeah, yeah, you can do that instead. I'm going to go ahead and roll damage. Damn. Uh, that's a total of 10. You are not prone. And you take 12 points of thunder damage. So, uh, how does this uh, appear to everybody as uh, as you hit with your thunderous smite? So you watch as my body flashes twice this time, and then as I hit you, there seems to be kind of like a just like a crack of thunder as the light flashes. And you're knocked back <laughs> and on your ass. He he hits you with the force of a sonic boom. He broke the sound barrier with his weapon. <laughs> And you're you're kind of like knocked back, at, uh, and you just kind of like roll off the floor, then like a uh, cat crash right into like this the side of the paneling, uh, and it just like you can feel the wood splinter underneath you, and you're just like, oh, okay, that quite uh, uh, the punts there, little man. And that that's uh, enough damage to uh, knock you out. Oh, you're you're paying. <laughs> so as that happens, like it, you, you were fine for a moment, like the first uh, time you you hit the floor as you were rolling. But then as soon as you uh, hit the back uh, side and the feel the wood crack underneath, you just like uh, mm -hmm. and you just kind of like fall to the ground. <laughs> it's like Duh. I kind of sheath. My... <laughs> ah, you, you, right. you guys hear someone in the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had 10,000 berry on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's bad? I had dead. I had bit Not bit. my first mate. I walk over to him, crouch over, kind of wave like a doctor over. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of pull out like a. One of my temporary health point, like fish rations, I gotta give him one. 
to fish right I, sh I should heal them up to, to something i think i have i have those yeah right? like a uh, he he gets doctored up like uh, they they do yeah, have a doctor on call that kind of assists uh, Snyder. As you, as, as you wake back up, I kind of give him a fish cake. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, good fight, man. You pack a hell of a punch. Ah, uh, kind of pull you up. <laughs> and you take a hell of a hit. <laughs> we just grab each other's arm, kind of like. Um, Oh, like a pretty much, like that medieval handshake where it's like you grab the wrist. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. I shake it, look at him, look at the captain, give her a nod, saying, "He's strong." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Good. You know, this group interests. Uh, Akisu, you do uh, notice that this entire fight, but. Uh, your first mate didn't use his devil fruit once, so he was holding back, clearly. I, I definitely noticed that, too. Yeah. I'm a little bit disappointed, but I'm, I'm curious about your devil fruit. You, you didn't know I had a devil fruit. Only my captain did. Uh, she, I, he, he would suspect it because yeah, was, people with wings don't just show up. Yeah. Because, like, you guys... Like, some, yeah. Good point, good point. He probably thinks your devil fruit is like something not related to what it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like most people would assume that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, uh, like most like common people would assume I had a devil fruit because of my size, but mm. you know, mm. probably. No, uh, giant uh, giants and half giants are common enough. Like. Full Elbaf giants or something else, but like, uh, there, there's lots of like half giant races, uh, throughout uh, One Piece. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. Our captain's half Elbaf. Yep, that's why I'm 12 foot that. tall. <laughs> Wait, am I the second tallest person on the crew? I You're think eight? so, yes, yes. Then, yeah, everyone else is like six feet. All right, uh, Rory's just kind of like, "Whoa, that that was pretty cool." I've seen your strength; it's pretty good. I would love to have you on my crew. You know, your, your crew, crew is pretty tight. interesting. Like we're talking about you. Yeah, I just gained one new person today, so it's already bigger than you thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> Not. I just chime in as I'm chugging down a beer. I want him on the crew because I want a rematch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and maybe next time you can show him everything you got. That is true. Yep. Now about me, I want to go at this man's. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. You haven't. You haven't seen what the captain can do. I have. The captain's <laughs> got to establish dominance. Mm hmm No. Take my presents. Oh. <laughs> huh? Why don't you be to get a run at you? It's been a while since you've taken a shot in the arena. Oh, shit. I can't even remember the last time I, she was in there. I think I'm Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> Give her everything you on your back. You got this. Oh my god, why can't I stop burping? <laughs> Come over here, have a beer. I'm gonna walk into the stands, take a seat. Ah, thanks. Fastest right, so way to be friends. Knock someone like around. No, I will too. <laughs> All right. Roll two D twenty. All right. And I'm gonna end the previous combat so we can put those two in there. Well, it's fun. All right. Then you two can just roll your initiative. How do I roll initiative? Uh, you can actually just on your sheet. You can click the initiative. Oh, I think button. I did it. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. I, I see your character art now. Hell yeah. Nice. Did the initiative roll work? Um, no. I got a 16. Okay, 16. And, uh, Micah, what'd you get? I don't know. I can help you. Why are you highlighting everything? <laughs> Shit, why is your initiative a plus eight? <laughs> like, because I'm fast. I I'm guess a... so. It must be like a, a plus two from the mobile feet, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, no, it's just how my computer works. Oh, wow. I think so. Also, Orion, oh, since we're on the subject of one piece, I uh, got. A fucking brook figure for like oh, 20 bucks. That looks nice. I like that. Yeah. And fucking Martin. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? That doesn't surprise me. Sorry, Mike. This fucking. Oh. Computer is loud. And then I got yeah. a Luffy as well. well. That's cool. Did you get a one? Yes. What? It didn't roll a d20. Rode for the rest of us. Okay. Wait, are all three of you in the same place? Yeah. 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 It says that uh, Micah sense. got a one. So. All right. <laughs> so you you get out there and <laughs> so. like right off the bat, like you see uh, this bunny girl start moving, and just for a split second, she disappears from view. Why am I not getting introduced like they did? <laughs> you know, you're right. You're right. Uh, you you go up to the uh, the guy and he's like, "All right, how am I introducing you guys, you girls?" Listen, I want you to introduce me, Kizu Blackburn, captain of the Black Beard Bird, Blackburn Pirates, Black Beard Bird, and the next king of the pirates. But you're a woman. Yeah. What? Uh, you know, I, I, I get what you mean. And then uh, he he turns to uh, uh, Chibiusa uh, uh, and yourself. You can introduce me as Chibiusa, the winner. The winner. <laughs> okay. Damn. And then like oh. you, you kind of like uh, see uh, uh, the bookie go around uh, taking bets from everybody, and, and the guy in the uh, disheveled shirt that's half tucked uh, steps out to the middle. On this side, we have Akisu Blackburn of the Blackburn Pirates. And on this side, a uh, significantly shorter and <laughs> absolute underdog of this fight, uh, Chibiusa. Yeah. Yeah. And Question. Yes. What kind of um, ammo do I have? Uh, what kind of ammo do you have? Well, I wanted her to have the um, stars, but you said I couldn't have them right away. Oh, yeah, you have to make those. But in my background, I put that she would have gone to islands to make them. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Let me see right here. I have to pull up the stuff for that. I would assume that since you're holding back, like, uh, you probably wouldn't, like, have, uh... Yeah, start with, like, valuable ammo. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know if you'd want to, like... That does cost... They do cost money to make. I don't know if you'd necessarily want to use them in it in this fight, but you can. So what's the common ammo? Uh, the common ammo is just, like, a... Just, like, a generic, like, a... Like, a lead ball. Like, you're just, like, hitting people with, like, the, these just bludgeoning, uh, things. Like a steel shot or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am going to pull up that section of the player's handbook just because I'd like to have that on hand so that we can get your ammo correct. Mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, there, there is a lot of stuff for ammo in here. 
I also have like simple weapons. I don't know what that like. Is that like guns? Yeah, I mean that. Let me look at the sim simple weapons. Like I. Okay. Yeah, uh, the simple weapons would be uh, stuff like. Uh, let me see if I got any simple range. A simple range would be like a musket, a sling, short bow, Fight. or dart. Or like a simple uh, melee would be like a club, dagger, axe, light hammer. You have like a light crossbow. Okay. I'm just thing right now. I'm like. Yeah. You are? Mm -hmm. If you don't have the right thing for your attack. What? What are you talking about? For your giant slingshot? Are you in the... Her, her giant slingshot she does have proficiency with. Is it based off of the uh, light crossbow, yes? Uh, no, actually. It's its own separate thing. What's the damage for it? D6? Uh, it's a D8 of bludgeoning damage. And has a range of 60 feet with a long range of 600. Two-handed heavy weapon. Damn! This is a giant sling. Like, uh, I'd say yeah. Just for yeah, any purposes. Have damage formula. I can basically hold this slingshot like a staff. The so it's like almost eight. as tall as me. Yes. It's like, Us it's like Usopp's uh, sling yeah. that he uses in the second part. She uses yeah. dexterity. Uh, yes. But it's better camera quality. Try, okay. So, yeah, you can make uh, batches of stars, and uh, okay, yeah, that's why we didn't uh, go over that before because, like, it it's a million berry to uh, make a uncommon batch of star. Which could be like metallic star, flame star, smoke star, cactus star. Okay. And, and the stars add extras on top of the initial damage. How many is in a batch? I think uh, it says five. Damn. But considering that they do add extra to it. Ebus. Ooh. All right. Is there anything in this arena that I'm able to like stand on? Or is it just like an open area? It's an open area. Okay. But you got a good amount of movement, so there's that. Uh, Chibiusa would be starting off the combat. Okay. Um. I'm gonna pull out my rapier. How far away are we from each other? Uh, about we're doing uh, opposite ends. Yeah, opposite ends. About uh, twenty feet away. I'm gonna like bounce over to her, slap her ankles, and then try to hide. My ankles? <laughs> Where are you gonna hide? It's an open area. Just try to get in your blind spot. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty large. Probably. If, I mean, bad. if you do get in the blind spot, you do have a chance to hide. All right, all right. I guess the only blind spot would be behind me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, roll to attack. Okay. And that doesn't add your modifiers. Huh? How do I do that on here? So go to your your sheet. Uh huh. Um. Go to your. Inventory, you're, you're attacking with your daggers, yes. yeah. Rapier, you so just yeah. click on the bag where it has a little dice on it. Yeah, you, you, you click on the rapier, and then like uh, it, it'll have like the information for that. This is what click. I was talking about. Before. They don't have the uh, the effects for the damage. Uh, it might have been just how she put it in. Yeah, let me fix it. Yeah, it says I can't standard roll. I got you. Okay, but we, we do know what your bonus is, so uh, just add a plus six to your roll, which is a total of 15. Uh, well, Captain, does a 15 hit? 
Uh, that goes against my armor class, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay. And roll for damage. Melee weapon time. Just, ah, son of a bitch! Fuck <laughs> <laughs> pickles! My ankies. <laughs> sure My ankies. Oh. It's a D8 My of damage plus your uh, dex modifier. What did you say? There you go. Let me oh, work. Okay. Okay. I was what just checking. All right. I'll you should just... be able to use your rolls now. At any rate, I'll just uh, pop oh. over here and roll a D8 for, for that. Okay, so three plus your uh, plus four, so seven damage. And uh, then you use your action to hide. Uh, make a stealth check because you're trying with disadvantage because you're trying to hide uh, in her blind spot right behind her. Okay. Ooh. Two. Damn. So uh, you're fast, and she's just kind of like able to look around because, like, she's like, oh, "Where else would you be?" So <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> so she's like right next to me now, right? Uh, it depends if you wanted to use the the rest of her movement to get out of range. Yeah, yeah I would have because I was going to use a range weapon. So you're gonna go. If I use my full movement, if you're 20 feet away, I would be 20 feet away. Yeah. So she zips in and zips back out another 20 feet. Normally that would provoke an attack of opportunity, but she has the mobile feet, so. Fair enough. And... Ooh. A... So you you take a a shot at her with your slingshot, and as as she's moving away, like you just. That wasn't her role. That was me just checking. Oh, yeah. Oh, I sorry, see. Sorry. That, that, that's... Okay, what we I'm need is... Uh... <laughs> yeah. I, I need uh, Mika's role. Yeah. I her... haven't even said what I was going to do yet. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I saw a roll in chat. I saw a roll in chat. I'm like, oh, well, here we go. <laughs> what were you saying, though? Uh, well, it doesn't matter now, because like, that wasn't your role. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so she went away, so... Aloy, that's enough. So I'll take a shot at her with my slingshot. All right. Well to hit. Me, Tully Bunch. I don't, is that an action? That's an action, right? Yeah, that's yeah. an action. Okay. D20, right? Oh, uh, you should yeah. be able to just click on your sheet. Huh? Yeah, because you got the giant... Trying? Yep, you got the giant slingshot, and it does have the attack roll. Oh. Did you see your roll in the chat? Huh? Here's 2d20kl plus 4 plus 4. I don't know why, it's, why it does that. <laughs> what the heck? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, shit. You, you didn't actually... You didn't add the uh, stuff to the details for uh, damage calculation. Oh, uh, we'll we'll fix that later. We'll fix that later. I'm gonna have to go over everyone's sheets again. But anyway, so uh, just this roll a d20. Zero. So I'm like, trying, but my computer is fucking okay. not having it. Well, I can roll that for you. All right. <laughs> It be like that. Do I have any? We've always experienced. Oh, that's a crit. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, do you guys see that Thomas thing? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, yep. kid. That's my book. Okay, so you you whip around and you see this bunny girl so you just take your a careful aim with your shot she's really fast so you got to aim for where she's going and you, you take the shot and a, as you do it slams like right into her uh roll for uh 
damage. What do I roll for that? Uh, that's going to be a D8, yeah. but since you got the uh, a crit, that's going to be max damage plus uh, whatever you roll. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Did it work? Y yeah. It. You hit, and uh, as as it hits her, it sends her flying across the uh, across the arena, and like she just has this uh, almost like a cannonball, uh, like uh, in her gut, just like, and she's like holding it, just riding the it back across. My like things would be bigger. <laughs> yeah. So it's like a ball size. <laughs> Yeah, so she's hit with that and just like sent sprawling. I like to imagine it, like hits her and like slams her into like the side. Yeah, yeah. And like it, the thing is like instead of like a splintering the wood in, in like a like a body shape, it's just like in that one spot where she <laughs> takes the hit to the gut. How much damage? I didn't even, I uh, four, I think. That was eight plus four plus your, uh, I'm not, not 8, eight plus 2, plus 4, yeah. So that was a total of 14 damage. 14 damage, Siana. Yeah. Oh, did? Yeah, that, that, that <laughs> knocked her out, right. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, you're just like... I'm nope, just like... One shot. Yeah. <laughs> and every, everyone in the audience is like, yeah, yeah, it, it was a long shot, I, you know. I mean, take a look at her. She's like fucking a mountain. <laughs> the captain and she's is drunk. A molehill. <laughs> uh, you, you need to stop drinking, sir. Uh, your, your jokes just aren't funny. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Mind your own business. <laughs> oh, you're over here. <laughs> I'm going to walk over to. Uh... Shibus, I can't pronounce her name. Shibusa? The bunny, all right? I'm going to walk over. I'm going to be like, hey, bunny girl. <laughs> you okay? And then I'll call over. Um... That's a slur. That's offensive. <laughs> she wakes up mean. enough to say that. You're out. You can't say anything. You don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I yeah, call over the doctor. I'm like, hey, we need a doctor over here. Uh, he busts out the smelling salts and just kind of like a, <laughs> attends to the injury. Like, you, you okay, girl? Come, come on. You know, like, the rape here works the other ones. Whenever she, uh, you know, wakes up, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yeah. hold out my hand and be like, that was a good fight. I think you're really fast and really good. Well, come on. You, you got a good shot on me. Any money on this fight. <laughs> Sienna, are you gonna shake my hand? Yes. Sorry, we're trying to figure out. Oh, you're good. <laughs> and there you have it. The, the crew has assembled. Well, hold on. They haven't decided if they wanted to join yet. Well, I'm gonna take a piss while they decide. <laughs> okay. Caffeine goes right In through me. In like two hours, we have the crew assembled. They're trying to figure something out with her character sheet right now. Autism be damned. What did you just say autism be damned? Yeah, I'm fucking like, looking for shit to fidget this entire time. Because I don't want, I don't want to play my switch and get too distracted. Yeah. The the uh fucking Indigo Disc DLC came out for Scarlet and Violet. Oh yeah. And I'm fucking playing that. Hell <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a new feature called synchronization where you get to essentially play as your Pokemon. What? That's yeah. Crazy. Yeah, so like it's healing a lot of people's inner child because yeah, for real, they're taking Pokemon from the first generation they had and going to the new one, Fuck and yeah. being able to play as like say their Charizard that they first got when they were five and shit like that. That's awesome, right? How much is the DLC? Like thirty bucks. It's not bad. I thought it was gonna be sixty. Not gonna lie. <laughs> right there we go. 
Because the, yeah, the first half of the DLC kind of released, and I think <laughs> September, oh. October, and then it just released the other day for the other half. They kind of did like a a sword and shield kind of deal where they released one half at one point and then the other at another. Okay. Nice. Right in. Good me. I don't know how. But now, for the first time in like. 20 some odd years, you can catch all the starters in the wild. Hell yeah. Oh, that's cool. And the first time in like since, as far as I can remember, remember black and white, that you can catch all the legendaries in one region. Man, black and white was kind of under mm. It's so good. I predicted black and white when I was in uh, fifth grade. No, she got dome. Oh, her. That was my uh, first, like, Pokemon game that my on my DS that I ever played. Which one? Uh, Black Two or White Two. Oh, okay, nice. Mine was <laughs> right. uh, Leaf Green. Damn. Anyway, we can we can move on from Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, it was just in the hiatus. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, you know, keep keep okay. those lungs together. You got this. I choked on my Oreo. Good night. Happen. All right. So as the crowd starts to settle down, and like uh, there, there really wasn't that many of them out there to begin with, and uh, uh, y'all kind of like uh, settle into the side. Uh, what do you do? Well, so uh, how about it? Have you decided to join my crew yet? Because obviously it's the best choice for you. They don't have a choice. <laughs> I kind of yeah. You so don't mad. have a choice. You're coming with me. It was a good try, Bun. It's a good try. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm really impressed. With up, you. you coming up, real quick, getting my ankles like that. That was good. Blue Boy don't have a choice. He's getting a rematch, whether he wants it or not. <laughs> I've, that sounds discriminatory. Because, uh, Blue Boy. <laughs> Wait, Orion, did you say my ship was 15 feet long? Uh, the uh, one that you uh, came into port with? You know, just, so just I can literally bit. lay on this bitch and there's only three feet left. <laughs> yeah, you don't have a good ship yet. Yeah, yeah Chibiu has been working on a ship uh, in her spare time uh, in the. Yeah, but I don't know that yet. Yeah. Right? So uh, now you're kind of faced with like, oh, ship. wait a minute. How am I going to fit all these people on my ship? How am <laughs> I going to house all these people? So we don't have I don't a have choice. <laughs> <laughs> I go, what do you think? I think that they need us. <laughs> wow. I don't disagree. They could use our help. They might get themselves killed. Hey, I'm not going to get myself killed. I hope not. The most... You can see from the last fight, I won. <laughs> Fighting isn't everything. What do you say? The we go back to my to stall. Me. I cook us up a meal. You're going to cook? Oh, you have no idea. Oh my god. Wait, does this mean you're joining? Let's talk about it over a meal. I can't say and go oh. stay. I can't say no to a good meal. I love eating. I, you better have a lot, because i got a big stomach. You don't think <laughs> I've had blue seafood before, so... I don't okay. doubt that you have a big stomach. <laughs> do you have plenty of boobs? <laughs> of course I do. Booze is required. <laughs> Little do they know I'm my own brewer. <laughs> I'm about to rob these people for all their money. I got kind of a high tolerance. <laughs> He's gonna well, have to as, make the Blackburn brew. You're the size of a house. I can, I can see why. You the Blackburn look. brew would be like, I bet it would be like purplish in color and like swirly. Ooh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Like a plum ale. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, that that actually sounds, sounds good. really good. Yeah, I know, right? Like a deep purple kind of like clear yeah. wine with a 
With like a shimmer. I like that. Like it got a bit of a sparkle to it. Yeah. Edible glitter. <laughs> it's just loaded up with body glitter. So does my hit points go back to 12 now? Uh, yeah, everybody's hit points go back to uh, where they were at before. You, go. you got patched up. What? Uh, everybody uh, goes back to full HP. Uh, after the matches, you're all patched up. Good to go. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'll take them back Patch to... Patch ankles, pretty boy. Dog. I'll use my thing to uh, make some food to give everybody temporary points. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, get a... Let's get a cooking check. Yeah. How do I do that? Where's um, the pipsqueak? I believe uh, your cooking skill uh, will go off your wisdom. Okay, okay. It'd be the same score as whatever a wisdom saving throw would be. Oh, cool, yeah, I see. Where's the pipsqueak? Wasn't he Wasn't he just here? Wisdom or my intelligence? Oh, I, I'm, I'm down here. It's, you're just very tall. Here, take a ride on my shoulders again, and I pick him up. I was somewhere my intelligence. Fuck yeah. I, I always wanted to be a ladies' man. <laughs> and it's just kind of like a chilling out. like, And he's looking around at all the like the pirates and the people amongst the crowd. He's like, yeah. Just They're me. jealous of me. <laughs> They're jealous of me. <laughs> Captain, watch out for that beam. A bee? Beam. Oh, beam. <laughs> down! And <laughs> he just, like, ducks down. I quickly duck just in time. But, it, like, it, like, brushes the top of my head. Yeah, like, Rory barely gets out of the way. You <laughs> said <laughs> just a wisdom check? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, you add your proficiency bonus. I think, uh, I, I don't, I'll have to look at your sheet. Real quick, but I, I know that it would be. Yeah. Oh, well, there you um, go. There should be a plus two on there, so thirteen. Yep, that's, yeah, so a thirteen. <laughs> you you weren't expecting oh, guests. Yeah. So. Uh, so... Yeah. So uh, you weren't expecting guests. So you're just kind of like a uh, whipping something together. You you had some fresh catch earlier. So like, okay, let's just go, just chilling. It kind of excited a little bit. So like, you're. Like, ooh, oh, you almost miss a step here had, and there. You've had to cook for this big of a group for. No, I run a food stall. Yeah, the... oh. yeah you're, you're just kind of like a running off muscle memory. Like, chop, 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 chop. People. I'm in jail and I don't know how to get out. Maybe. Maybe a little more personal. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, it would be. What do you mean? I, I accidentally looted a body and the person was not very happy about me looting the person's body and they put me in jail. I don't know how you get out of jail in uh, Baldur's Gate. And then I murdered like somebody. It's like Skyrim. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just do anything bad in front of anybody and you just go to jail. That's how it is in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Now, fortunately for you guys, this entire town is ruled by two pirates. Right. Said so fortunate? Power. Yes. The, the marine presence here is very lacking. The what presence? Marines. Marine presence. Okay. Sorry. Uh, what, Kirsty? Uh, just a moment. My child has decided to get rowdy. Not that one. Uh, Feel free to RP amongst yourselves. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use my first class. Did you think we can give you a break? Yeah. Here. Is that my first hit speed? It's fine. Oh, yeah. When you take the chef, though. Yeah. Mika. Uh, Do because we've been on the crew for a little bit before we met. Anyways, I, I'm in jail and, and I can't play Anna, the character. Do I'm you want? 
want it to be where you know my identity uh, or phone, I guess. you were completely oblivious. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of identity as in the devil fruit thing? No. I, All right. Like, my race. Oh. Um, Brian, I need help. Uh, Kirsty, I can't really help with that. My whole thing is like freedom to be you whatever you want, wherever you want. You know what I mean? So, like, I, I don't think I would care. I know, but I do you know the secret of my ring? Where I Pro come from? I or... probably do not know. Okay. So, nobody on the crew knows who I am or what I am. You Correct. could always enlighten them over your name. Yeah. Go ahead and look in the I'll chat. just, I'll let them figure out as whenever we run into the Marines for the first time. Okay. Everybody gets uh, two points, of points. All right, two temporary HP for eight hours. That's pretty good. Yeah. So how do we know? So do we just add new to our help? Yeah, on your sheet. The right side. Is is getting ridiculous. On the left is the temporary. That just smells. We'll good. add plus two or whatever. How do you know bird shit sounds like? Been around. <laughs> You've been around. Okay, so Ooh. Uh, Sam's giving everybody a little extra uh, boost to HP for the next eight hours. Brian. And uh, what's this of the door door fruit in the chat? Can't hear you, Sam. I I don't know why that got put in. Not coming. Putting it in a bag and putting it on the neighbor. You've never liked it. Plus two temporary hit points. All right. What? You get plus two to your hit points. Trade hours. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Eve is subtitling out in the chat. <laughs> this man comes with subtitles and he still can't get read. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it put my fruit in the fucking in the chat. But you know, that might be something that you might want to talk to uh, your the crew about or just surprise them with later. You can just delete it from the chat. It's a uh, good one way or another. She had it coming. Yeah. She tried to kill me when I tried to loot her stuff. Anyway. Fascinating. All right. So. What's next? So you, you all are sitting around. You're eating the, the food. Uh, Sam, what did, what did you make for everybody? I'll say uh, I'll use all the fresh cats that I got today. Some... Uh, Two large pieces of salmon, some uh, smoked halibut. She must be you know, sick. Some herbs from the market. Every time today, she's wet clothes. Mm. Make a little bit of like a crab cake on the side. You know. Yeah, so it's quite the little uh, party spread. Yeah, there's a variety of things. So, you're you're the captain, and you're the first mate. So, uh, huh, just, I, I still can't get over how tall you two are. <laughs> well, we're not from around here, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, where are you from? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> if we're going to be that's traveling a, together, I would like to. Why you that's a conversation for another time. We'll see. I came from... The long leg tribe mm -hmm. and buddy. You don't say. You're going to choke um, on brownie, kid. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell? Stop. That's a lot of legs. you fit inside. I forgot what, what, what blue I was from. I don't remember. So you can just decide that. Where, where are we at right now? We're in the north blue. Oh, I'm from the east blue. Into the living room. Oh, cool. Ah. He's I put it in my background. She's been a long time. Right. I don't see. I don't know where all the cards are. I kind of built my own ship and set sail by myself. It's not a very good ship. I'm not a shipwright, but. I looked at you, you said. 
Your own ship, you say? Let's, Let's go, go see, see it. it. You want to go see it? Well, hold on. Can I can I get a little bit more food? I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of gesture to the rest of the table. Of course, help yourself. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, fish boy. Hey, fish boy. What's this barrel over here in the corner? Ah, uh, that's the, the brew, brew that I made last night. The brew? The, the brew. brew. I found I these. Uh, you made it? I do. I brew my own sometimes. I like to use interesting creatures that I find in the sea to spice it up a little bit. Do you have more than just this one? Yes. May you take me to it? <laughs> no. Right. Well, Why you're not? Buying, you want to see my ship? I want to see your stash. Are you buying? This how much establishment? How much for four barrels? All right. How much for four barrels? <laughs> uh, let's see here. How much is the market price for four barrels? Tell me that. <laughs> uh, that's a very good question because. Uh, I mean, I'm going to change it because I made it myself. <laughs> uh, let's see. I can you give me you, and then I want to go and know how good it is. Because like, I don't know how good it is. It's about. Uh, it's I'd a 55 say gallon barrel. A, 50, a barrel is 55 gallons? Yes. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. So uh, I probably got like three of them things. <laughs> I gotta look at my calculations for shit like that. Because it would not be cheap, I'm tell you. We can either, I'm, like say either get, you. I'm gonna say barrels are fifty gallon and just to yeah. call that good. That sounds fair. Damn. I'm not a bar. <laughs> I just make it on the side. <laughs> yeah, that's that'd be about a hundred thousand uh berry a barrel. Yes, sir. All right. And uh what what would I roll for how how good is this brew? Um strong? it'd be the same as your uh as your cooking check. Okay. Wisdom. Or you could make an intelligence uh roll. Whichever you want for uh your brewing, because like uh I could see it going either way. I mean, yeah. I I thought of rolling a D100 for, like, percentage. <laughs> like, ABV per volume. <laughs> That's the same thing. But That's a whole it, amount of proof that could be dangerous. Yeah. But that's just my idea. Okay, so it looks like 16. All right, this is some pretty decent stuff. Like, uh, you've had better, but it as far as the market standards around here, it's pretty high end. And I have made this brew with something a little toxic that I found in the ocean. Oh, like a <laughs> like it's for normal consumption, but good for me. <laughs> I'm gonna say no this time, but uh, but I'm not gonna say no to you making your own special toxic brew because that would that's fun for the future. And you like that. all right, fair enough. yeah. Uh, for you, we're gonna be working together. Eighty thousand berry for a bar for a barrel. For one barrel, or for four, for one barrel. <laughs> You said a berry? 80,000. Oh. Hey, I made this myself in my free time, and I gotta say, pretty good. Let me go ahead and give you a taste. Go ahead and pull a mug, fill up about halfway. That's the equivalent of about eight gold in deep regular D&D. &D. So it'd be eight berry? Uh, 80,000. 80, no, for the one, for the one cup or what one oh there's drinks on the house and you tell me if you want the bear all right he's a businessman I, i'm all i'm already heavily intoxicated <laughs> <laughs> i i pound that back and as and you just see me put the slam the glass down 
That's good stuff. Constitution check <laughs> for drunkenness. <laughs> okay, what do I roll for a constitution? Uh, it, it, it's on your uh your, your abilities. You just hit the uh, constitution uh thing on there. Uh, if you just click the word constitution, it'll do a uh, it'll do a saving throw. Where? Uh, on, underneath attributes, like uh, I'll click it right now. Let's see. Oh, constitution right there. Yeah, it yeah. gives you the option of saving throw or ability check. In this case, it'd be a saving throw. Yes. Saving throw. Normal. Normal. Yeah, we're all learning how to use Foundry today. God. <laughs> Twenty-two. Ah, you succeed, but you're really enjoying it. Like the buzz yeah. hits that sweet spot of you're in control, but it's smooth. I was, I was gonna. How is it? Whew, that's a strong. Kind of fill a cup for everybody. Slide them across the table. On the house. You know what? I like you guys. Oh, bring a barrel on the ship with us. This what? will be my first time trying this, first this, kind of, this kind of brew, so why not? Do, 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 do. Thank you. <laughs> I greatly appreciate it and your hospitality. Seeing as I'm, I'm apparently a lunatic. Don't thank me yet. Thank me when we do some good out there. You know, Blue Boy, you and I are going to get along very, very well. <laughs> oh, <Blue Boy. laughs> I think you'll make a fine asset to our crew. <laughs> Cheers to Tango. Yeah. Rory tries to grab himself a mug. <laughs> One of these days, Tonga, you'll let your guard down. Oh, one of these days you'll earn it. I will. And without, <laughs> he just without, kind of pouts a bit. Without Tonga looking, I, I slip Rory the last sip of mine. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I mean, you can make a slide of hand and I can try not to you know, see if I noticed. <laughs> yeah, that'd go against your passive perception. So, okay. <laughs> make a slide of hand. Yeah, your passive perception's not great, so... I may not know, yeah. Who's mine or his? His. It's all right. It's so, 10? It's 12. Oh, 12. No, no, it is 10. Ah. Damn. Would it be ability check or saving throw? Uh, in your case, you just got to make an ability check for your sleight of hand, which... I... I yeah, like you just click on sleight of hand and you can just hit roll. Oh, no. oh yeah, yeah. I do you know what your passive perception oh, is. Okay, if you hover over where it says perception with the little uh, parentheses, it says passive. You lied to me. And then she. My, my sleight of hand was 14. 14? I mean, I won't just. I mean, I, I let it slide. I don't know this. <laughs> it's, it's a fun day. I can hear my kids arguing with the, my wife in the other room. <laughs> uh, the kids. It's kind of all weird. <laughs> mm. All right. Aren't we all a little weird? This <laughs> is a weird group. It says the weirdest one of us all. Not weird. Fallen from the sky. Oh, uh, yeah. That is true. All I right. I do not command the clouds. The clouds command me. <laughs> Chimusa, how ready is your ship? It's not completely ready yet. It's... But... Uh, she thinks about it. Her ship is about 75% of the way there. Cool. Excited to see this alleged ship for the crew. 
so which oh, uh, ship are you guys going to see first? <laughs> Uh, we were going to see mine. Okay, okay. So a little dingy. You, you guys get over, and uh, you see just uh, uh, anyone that's uh, seen uh, One Piece, like uh, you, you know about the size of the ship that uh, was uh, that Nami steals from uh, uh, those guys early on. Yeah, uh, it, it's about that size. Nami's little crew. <laughs> yeah, that was two little ship fifteen feet. That's small, huh? That's probably about fifteen. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 I mean. Could you imagine fitting a, a 12 foot tall woman yeah, on that ship? First episode. Yeah, I like end to end. You know, when she's like in this like little rowboat, she's like draped over and she's like steals those uh, the, the heavy pirates. Huh? I feel like that's that's a small ship. Yeah, it is. That's 15 feet long. Well, for for all extensive purposes, we'll say that's about 15 feet long. <laughs> okay. Yes. Incidentally, it'd be good for like going into port if you guys were to tether it to a bigger ship. Sure. Like stealthily tie it onto the 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 back end of someone. Do ship. I have a Jolly Roger yet? Um. Do you? <laughs> I would well, say you didn't I have a crew. Like, made one myself, huh? Yeah. You didn't have the crew yet. Well, uh, Kilivor was there with me. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right, between so, the two of you, would you have made a Jolly Roger yet? Or would I you think have waited? I would have like handmade one. All yeah. right. So you you do have a, a Jolly Roger, and you just kind of like uh, show it off to everyone, and they see just a, a typical skull and crossbones with like a wide jaw and the uh, kind of like a purplish flames behind it. Nice. Uh, it, it's clearly like hand done. Like a, you, you hadn't really like done anything like this before, but it's not the worst thing they've seen. Correct. That's a good idea. I'm gonna look down at it, give it a nod. I like it. Thank you. The Blackburn Pirates, huh? Yep. It's catchy. Any significance to the name? What's my last name? You see. Mm. What is your plan for next? For next? We're just roaming the seas, doing whatever we want. On to the next adventure. Well, we do have to help that one What's guy. What's the next adventure? Whatever <laughs> island we get to next. <laughs> Preferably a pl place with booze. Yeah. And food. Yeah. <laughs> I love food. Then maybe we could even get uh, the Sky Dude back to wherever he's from. Yeah, we gotta figure out how to get this guy back up there. Plus, I wanna go up there. Well, I mean, it's, it's we pretty cool. We just kinda cool. have to go in the world and see where it takes us. Long. You're gonna have to get some scales under your belt. With Tenga, there's always food and booze. <laughs> see, that's why I want him on my crew. First of all, he looks cool. He fights good. He cooks food. He and good. he's got booze. This man's is the entire package. Uh, <laughs> you live a life like mine, you do what you can. I like that. All right. So, having seen uh, this little ship, uh, Siana, does Chibiusa have any uh, response uh, to all of this? This isn't gonna work. <laughs> this ship is isn't gonna work for us. Yeah, I figured if I found some people to join my crew, I would want at least one of them to be a shipwright. That way, we could get a bigger ship because I can lay on this ship, and there's only three feet left of space. Yeah, is there a way we can salvage these materials to craft my ship? I am a salvager. I can yeah. take apart this ship. I'm mostly asking Orion. Um, it's a little small to salvage for the rest of uh, what you got going on. However, if salvaging a ship is not a bad idea. With, with, with some time, I think, and with this ship, we can probably get the parts around town. For, uh, for Chibiusa, uh, you know that about... You'd need about 18 uh, million berry more to finish your ship. Uh, in material. 
and this is a bustling uh, merchant town, so there, there's plenty of options, whether it be find a job, steal it, or just uh, do whatever you can. Wait, how much did we make from the arena? In our uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> like, everyone was just kind of betting on you guys. Yeah. <laughs> on who? On each fight. Um, let me see. Uh, so, on both of you, and then, yeah. Okay, so, I'd say, uh, you each, on the first fight, uh, Tonga pulls about, uh, 9,000 berry. And then on the, uh, second fight, because, uh, everyone thought that it was just going to be such a clean sweep, given the size difference, that, uh... Akisu uh, pulls out a good uh, 7,000 berry. Nice. nice. If it was a bigger crowd, you could have gotten more. Mm-hmm. What about uh, Mike? Uh... Oh, yeah, she lost. Yeah. I mean, she... Mike... Yeah, so I won 7,000, right? Yep. Is that what he just said? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I got so I looked at your ship and I turned to you, Akisu, and I'm like, how much resources do you have to make a ship with a ship right? Well, I have a million berry on me that I could put towards it. I have a ship that I've been working on, but it's not finished yet. Alright, so what do you need to finish it? Well, first of all, are you joining my crew? And if so, are we going to use this ship that you're building? If I join your crew, I will use a ship. Well, see, I'm not going to give you my stuff if you're not part of my crew. <laughs> yes. I kind of looked at Jibusa. I kind of looked back to Kisu. I think we're in. Rory's just All like, yes, 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 we're in, we're huh? in, we're in. We're in. Do you want to see the ship? Yes. I kind of crouched down to Rory. I know you don't have a family here, so I do want you to come with us. But it will be dangerous. You gotta stay safe. Um, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do what you tell me to. It, it beats the fuck no, out of steering around here. Does that mean he's part of the Blackburn Pirates now? Wow. <laughs> We're bringing no, children to the ocean. Bringing children. <laughs> wow, my very own orphan. <laughs> He's got some pretty powerful people around him. I, I crouch down to him and I'm like, the sea is a wonderful place. You'll enjoy it. I, I can say the same about He, he just kind of like uh, looks at you with like admiration in his eyes. <laughs> And I, yeah. under my breath, the kid hears me say, and it's also dangerous. <laughs> uh, you're strong. It'll, it'll probably be okay. We can teach him to be strong. How old is Rory? Uh, Rory is 12. <laughs> well, Hell yeah. what, is, what does he do? What do I, other than he's just like a little thief? Yeah, he's just kind of a street urchin that stops by your stall every now and then, and you just kind of like feel bad, so maybe you give him a fish here and there. Yeah, kind of look out for him. Yeah, like I, there's a lot of vendors uh, in the night market that do uh, look out for Rory, but uh, there's also, like, he steals from a bunch of people to just, there, there's a good number that pretend not to notice. Just go, yes, people in Rory, like, go looking. He's one of those. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So you guys. So we go your, to my. Sh- yeah, yeah. You, you make your way uh, down the the dock to uh, the uh, the shipbuilding area, and you you see like way off to the side, just kind of like a this uh, partially constructed. It, it is a float, and it's kind of like just cobbled together. Uh, Siana, would you like to describe uh, the the how this ship looks so far? So it's like a very large um, ship made for like a full crew, and it has a big helm of an elephant. Right. So, so, 
So, so, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, a giant helm of the elephant. Um, oh, the the, the elephant's name is uh, Zunasia. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. The country's name is Zo, but the elephant's name is Zunisha. Mm. Yeah. So for that, it's like a tribute to him. Zo. Uh, I don't. Zo is on the back of Zunisha. Yeah. It's like a nomadic country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. That's where um, Sienna's character is from. I kind of give it a nod as we approach. Do you tell us that uh, the elephant is a tribute to Zanisha? No. Okay. Some of us would recognize it. Like, I would probably know. Uh, I didn't say anything. Like, you guys, that's just what you guys are seeing. So. Oh, and it's yeah. not complete yet. Like, you can yeah. tell there is. Yeah, like, uh, you can see that the... Uh, the helm uh, needs a bit more work, and the sails are like not up at all, out outside of just like this big mast. Yeah, I take a like overall look at the ship, and I'm like really impressed. I'm I say like, wow, where did you learn to build like this? I didn't travel as much, so I had a lot of spare time to hone my skills. Do we do we run into any? Marines on the way there. Uh, actually, give me a uh, perception check. How many are in this city? How many what? Marines? Okay, that's it. Okay, uh, you you're looking around and everything seems pretty uh, normal around the docks, and you don't see any marine ships. Although you do see a unmarked ship down at the uh, f- front end of uh, where like the the main uh, ships come and dock, and it's bearing a uh, just a, a white flag with three Marines uh, marching up the dock, and they they don't really seem to be paying much attention to anybody around them, and they pass in front of you. Uh, one seems to have like a the little cuffy things on his jacket that to distinguish like a a higher rank but not like the full like a uh, cloaky jacket thing that the captains and higher ranks use okay and he just has like a, a couple of recruits with their caps and their short sleeves uh following behind okay, okay. do you think they don't notice that he is funny <laughs> <laughs> and i i notice them and i just dip out without the rest of the crew knowing. Do you like turn into a horse? No, I just. <laughs> I'm in the back behind Tom, uh, um, Tonga Akizu and Tonga with Rory on their back and next to Snyder. And next thing you know, I just turn left and go in between two <laughs> random buildings. Yeah, you're just like a kind of like turn the other way. Uh, they, yep. It seems like the Marines have a a distinct goal in mind. Like they they act very familiar with the environment, so they're just like going straight for who knows where. Yeah. Objective oriented, and they disappear into the crowd. So I want to uh, pull out my transponder snail. See if I can make a call to uh, some ship merchants while they talk about this. All right. Let's see if I can get some uh, materials or something brought down. Okay, because uh, you'll need a total of uh, 18 mil worth of material, which yeah. not the worst, but still pretty, uh, I mean, reasonable for a ship. Yeah, see if I can use my connections to get anything more. Ah, try to negotiate things down. Right, right. Or, you know, I got that five-finger discount. This is, you are pirate, I'll... Yoho and Hibbity G. Where's the... we, could all, we could always go get a bounty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could be bounty hunters for a bit. I mean, where your... Where your flag isn't well known yet, and you don't officially have a bounty for yourself, yeah, you you could, and there are two known bounties in the area. 
Do I learn anything from my calls? Is it the two pirates that are feuding over this town? Yes, uh, they are the most <laughs> notable bounties in the area. Uh, you, you call the transpire snail, and it's like better, 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 gotcha. And uh, hello, there's just just this very exhausted uh, sounding uh, gruff voice on the other end. Ah, Mickey, just the man I wanted to talk to. You got a minute? Ah, uh, Tonga, Tonga. What troubles you today? Uh, well, we see we're right about to get some work done on Chibusa's ship here. We're looking to head out pretty soon, maybe take on one of these bounties. You uh, think you can do anything for me? Uh, if you're going to take bounties, it's going to tear this town apart, my friend. Uh, now, just one of the... You know what? I think I could uh, secure you some supplies on the... On the down low. But well, I always do appreciate the business. Ah, of course, of course. You know me, I'm good for it. And do you have a crew to work with this? No, oh, we're working with a little something now. Okay. Found a couple of interesting folks. Well, tell you what. How, how much in material are you looking at? Uh, we're looking to... Need around 16 to 17 mil. Okay. Okay. Well, I, it, this is the ship that uh, your, your bunny friends uh, have been working on? Yeah, you know it. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, she turns in from time to time. Yeah. I, I've seen her list. i tell you what. If, if, you, uh, if you're talking about pulling in the bounty from uh, one of those uh, pirate boys, then... That's going to cause you a lot of trouble, but I can throw in some extras if you're willing to pay for the extra. Hey, you know me. If it's not money, it's food, or something else, whatever you need. All right. I'll give you a call back after I get things together. You get that money, we'll see where we can go from there. All right. Glad talking to you. And just click. Click that. Yeah. Fucking love transponder snails. I look down at my transponder snail. Oh, shut up. Don't give me that face. <laughs> I love that Oda got his own from the live action. I know. That thing is so creepy, but I love it. Uh, <laughs> Sam got art of his transponder snail made. I did. I did. Fuck yeah. Yana went and made it for me. <laughs> I love it. It's fucking adorable. It's so good. And it's on point. I picture it gives me like every time I do like shady business, it's kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> All you got to do is like know uh, who to talk to. And it's like, this is just a matter of saving yourself a trip down to the shipwright guild. Yeah. I kind of walk over to Chibisa. Hey, I got Mickey to uh, put a little bit of a word in for it. Maybe we'll get some extra materials on this. Oh, yeah. Hey, who knows? They go well. He's pretty interested in these uh these bounties stuff. What do you think with this group? Maybe it's possible. Realistically, how many people do you think you've seen trying to go after these bounties? Mm -hmm. I gotta think on it like a little bit. Uh few have tried. Few have failed. Yeah, Rory's just kind of like sitting there like there was like that one guy. I he got, like, executed on the spot. You remember that one? It was true. That guy was an idiot, though. Yeah, like, uh, Ca Captain Darren just, like, turned into a lion, and just, like, he did the, the lion shredder. It Bloody mess everywhere. Quite hilarious to watch. I made a lot of money that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, th there were drinks everywhere. The, the cleanup was uh, uh, atrocious. Yep. Bar fights are never the way to go when you pick a fight with the pirate guild. <laughs> so uh, there are two uh, pirates on the island: the uh, zoo pirates and the Thai man pirates. Uh, you do, uh, uh, Chibiusa, uh, and you both know a little bit about them. Most notably, that 
these pirates are known for their signature devil fruit abilities. One being a Zoan type lion lion fruit, and the other being the Tai Tai fruit. Do we know what that is? Uh, you, you know that it's like a, all the pirates in that crew wear bow ties. Oh, okay. <laughs> I kind of I gotta tell you guys about them a little bit. So there's the bow tie bandits, you know, whatever their group is. <laughs> Weirdo, if you ask me. <laughs> no sense of st- style or fashion, honestly. <laughs> I don't know why I pictured them with pompadours. Yeah, honestly, me too. <laughs> what about the other group? <laughs> what are they like? Uh, they uh. They all have thick beards and like a like big old like a like if they don't uh, have it already, they kind of like uh, get like these mutton chop uh, sideburns, like the really thick ones. Mm-hmm. That's kind of like the, the signature thing for all those pirates. And they have like a very bestial nature to them, very primal, because their leader is uh, a lion zoan type. Right, right. Okay. What about the other ones? Uh, th- those are the two primary groups. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, they had a face-off years ago, but m- ended up stalemating each other and have been afraid to fight uh, each other outright ever since. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not to stop so the crews kind of... from feuding with each other from time to time. I'll kind of think on it for a minute. I'll kind of detail, you know, the, these groups to the rest of you. Now, I've been thinking for quite a long time, there's been a lot of brewing beef between these two groups, both sides too scared to take a swing. <laughs> what if we provoke them a little bit? Ride the chaos through the fire, you say. There's only five of us, though. Tonga, this yeah. is insane. Strong. Rory does seem like genuinely scared of the possible outcome outcome of that, but he's just like, huh. Now hold on here, Rory. Hold on for a minute. These people, you know, these two pirate groups, have never seen these folk before. You're right. Wow, fresh faces are both a good and a bad to these groups. They could uh, invite a lot of chaos. Hmm. I I could sabotage a couple things. I mean, there's been sabotaging stuff happening all over the market this past week. What kind of sabotaging stuff? I mean, didn't you hear about like uh, that the uh, mother of one of the zoo pirates, uh, 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 Charlotte? She had her. And, like, all of her linens and leathers just, like, soaked in, like, this uh, fish oil juice. Oh, yeah. It's a weird week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then uh, that that uh, uh, that lady I crashed into her, her stall, she said something about this Janice person. Yeah, Janice is uh, the mother of one of the uh, Thai pirate uh, dudes. Like, uh... There's a weird thing going on where, like, family members of the various pirate bands have been just kind of throwing their weight around. Uh, The the pirates around here have been around so long that they have, like, full-on families and shit. Hmm. Hmm. That's kind of what I'm, what my plan is, you know, how I think I would probably go about it, you know? Get them to kind of beef with each other. (laughs) <laughs> so we'll just we some season, inner turmoil we'll between again. the group. Feel the balance. Yeah. You gotta push them over. You know, push them over the edge. Get them to finally. Act. <laughs> How are we gonna do that? Uh, yeah. Okay. We could sabotage some of their like uh, something like they're working on, and just make, like, a little like picture with the uh, Jolly Roger. Oh, one of these groups recently? You still on payroll? Uh, I I did some work for Mrs. Jennings uh, with uh, some deliveries. Do you still uh, have the records of those deliveries? 
Uh, you, you know I don't know how to read. Oh, I don't know how to read. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too poor to go. <laughs> I grew up on the streets. <laughs> the school is free. <laughs> but who's got the time? Oh, uh, fair. Can't afford it. <laughs> Can't sell it. Can't go. Besides, the mayor ends up paying all the infrastructure stuff to the pirates, and then the pirates are just like, well, they pay that uh, a portion of protection money to the marine that we saw back there. Protection money? Oh, you didn't know about it? Hmm. Yeah. Well, you see, uh, what is it, Lieutenant uh, Dry Rot, or he goes and he picks up a a big box of uh i i assume gold and uh, berry every month oh, interesting I, I overheard some stuff from some of the uh, zoo pirates talking about it so you so dropping a game for money yeah they Maybe they're very Oh, Rory, your ears are a blessing and a curse. <laughs> well, you know, uh, you gotta be where you gotta be, and no one notices me. Kind of give him a nod. I like this kid. A little bit of, little bit of proudness. <laughs> brings a single tear to my eye. So are we, are go we just gonna go in and steal this money? Look, look, Rory, why don't you go ahead and... uh? Pick up a delivery job. <laughs> Come back. Okay. Well, see you later, Mr. Tanga. Yeah, be back here in uh, about an hour. Uh, you know what delivery job's going to take me at least three there, back, securing everything. Come back with the manifest, too, before you make the delivery. Okay. And he just runs right off into the crowd. Uh, that kid. As Rory's running off, I finally come back to the group. Everyone's like, nobody oh. noticed you were gone. <laughs> <laughs> do you like sneak in or do you be like, hey, I'm back? <laughs> no, I, I just come back and be like, where's the kid off to? And that's when you guys real quick. We'll be back. You got that's when you guys are like, did you not hear the conversation? <laughs> you know the better. I love What it. do you mean the less I know the better, bull boy? The less I <laughs> know the better, man. You may not want to get involved in this. <laughs> Captain, what's he what's he talking about? We're trying to get money so we can finish this shit. Look at the ship that she has built. You look Isn't over at the amazing? ship for the first time, and you're like, oh. Oh. <laughs> We're at the docks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I I didn't make the dock. I kind of dipped out. Where'd you go? Well, was there a, is there a secluded place here that I can bring all y'all? <laughs> you could talk on the ship, but that's where uh, Chibiusa and Tonga have been sleeping. That is true. We live on their ship. <laughs> so, is, is there a place we can talk? Since you guys are part of the crew now, I might as well include you. Cap the captain I mean, don't even know this. What'd you say? We can go on the ship. Yep. Oh, well, let's go on the ship All right. then. All right. I need to see the inside. I know it's not done yet, but I want to see what's what's on the inside so far. I'm working with you. Yeah, you get up on, on. Put anything on. Yeah, yeah you get up on the ship, I'm and you see that it's about uh, about eighty feet long by about twenty five feet wide. Jesus. Thick, Thick boy. boy. Thick boy. Anyway, so what? Where'd you go? I I dipped out as soon as I saw those Marines. 
What'd you do to those Marines? I didn't do nothing. It's it's my people. Huh? Let my people go. <laughs> Let my people go. <laughs> what and then, you, what do you mean, your people? Ah. <laughs> I what just, do you mean, you people? <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just take one of those really big size. The wings I, expand. <laughs> no, I rub my hair. The black streaks come out of it. My wings expand and I just catch fire. And I'm just standing there. Like, sorry, on fire? Me. Someone say something. You're, You're the on one fire? telling the story. Yeah, right. No. I take a big sigh, rub my hair to get all the black streaks out, expand my wings, and and let out my flame uh -huh. so that you can see everything. What does this mean? <laughs> well, he's a uh, Lunarian, which... Uh, those are the signature traits of a Lunarian. They're white hair, black wings. It, it's not normal. Like they're an exceptionally rare race. The Lunarians come from the moon. Ah. Wow. So like I don't think I would have known that because I grew up secluded. Yeah. Same. It's, Do we it's know very rare knowledge? Do we know why they don't like the Marines? I guess, I, yeah, I guess my character would be like, wow, you have white hair instead of black hair? And you got wings? And they're on fire? That's so cool. Yeah, I'd be like, why are you glowing? <laughs> <laughs> what sort any of tile is this? <laughs> do any of the characters... <laughs> I probably assume it's a devil fruit. Uh, the do only person that uh, suspects anything other than just a simple devil fruit would be... Uh, Snyder, because of the wings, he's like, oh, wait, this isn't too dissimilar from the kinds of people that I've been around. It's very scaled up. Yeah, I feel like my assumption would be like, what kind of devil fruit did you eat? Like, yeah. This ain't no devil fruit. I did eat a devil fruit, though. This is not a devil fruit. Wow, so you're special. We we've been, we've been we've been together for a year and you're just now telling me this. Yes. I am part of a I am part of a sacred race called the Lunarians. That's uh -huh. Have you heard have you heard of the celestial dragons? Everyone has heard of uh, them at one yeah. point or another like a world nobles. Oh. They murdered my race. I am the last of my kind. The last? Ah, yes. Yeah. We do have something in common after all. I have wow. been hiding. In so, plain is that sight. why you disappeared? Because you were afraid the Marines were going to catch you? Yes. Oh. Well, don't worry, because um, if Marines do recognize you, we'll just beat their ass. So. It's all good. Well, through the years, I have, I have developed a keen, a keen, uh, way of disguising myself. With the black and the, <laughs> with the black hair and with the black uh, hair dye. How do you hide your wings? He whips out the my disguise wings kit. Don't... Just... My You're wings like Superman. Are... Hiding wings, like. <laughs> My wings don't stick out all the time. They. Do you just have them like folded up? Fold into your back? Yes, and I have a strap holding them so that they don't come out unless I absolutely need them to. Nice. So you got like a boner before wings. <laughs> yeah. So did you just like strip a just cast like, you to like take wings. off the strap yeah. and yeah, the coat? Above her wings. No, I, I took. I ended up taking my jacket off and just pulling almost like the parachute cord strings oh, okay. on my chest. And... I, I kind of picture it like uh, these, uh, like suspenders. Like uh, you have like these little suspenders holding them in place and just like slide down the suspenders. Angel from the X Men. Be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They basically yeah. are like flat on his back. Yeah, yes. yeah. It, it's like that. Oh, okay. Gotcha.
Cool. Okay. Nice. Does, yeah. does Snyder have wings? I don't I don't know because I, I know like some sky I, people do. I know the uh actual Skypeans do, but I don't maybe the Shandians. I'm I have the uh um one piece PDF up. Hmm. So or yeah, I, I think uh, they're distant relatives in some way. Yeah. Uh, I believe they do. Hmm. From one grand reveal to another. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh boy, my internet is not liking me trying to use the internet i've been dealing with that for the past three days <laughs> it's just killing me sucks i feel that and on the positive side while well, all of you guys are doing this rory's off doing his thing yeah what's <laughs> going on now what's next meanwhile in rory adventures <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll give him his own cover story for, for each chapter. So he takes some time to talk about him being Lunarian. Uh, I, I suppose I could uh, explain about the, the, the sky a bit more. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear about this. So, I I come from a race called the Shandians from the land of Shandora. We have uh, the, the, the fucking wow brain fart. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I come from a warrior way. Why did my shit quote? <laughs> I come from a warrior race. A warrior race. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. The warriors that fight uh, racism. The racism. <laughs> my, bra my brain is farting. I am so sorry. <laughs> it's all good. It's it's all fucking getting late as well. But you need to lay off your medicine, doctor. What were you doing before you fell? Uh, so I was on a mission to, uh, recover a religious artifact for our, um, for our people, a, a golden bell that, well, we, we come, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Fucking, um, in, out of character, I'm rewatching One Piece, so the whole... Like Skype and stuff is being refreshed, uh -huh. so I'm I'm still kind of piecing it from recent memory, and that's okay. shit enough as it is. So well, I apologize. Well, for... feel free to add lib it a little bit, you know, like uh, yeah. take some liberties. How much of your medicine do you take when you don't even need it, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> Are they gonna know that you're gone? Um, pro prob probably probably not. Yeah. I'm, I'm not I'm not too high ranking, but I I do enough work where like it's not I'm not as needed, but it's it's I'm it, I'm, I'm not I'm not very important. <laughs> and why did you try to steal this artifact? Um. These this other race, the uh the the, the, the Skype hands fucking fucks. Um, <laughs> they they stole our sacred land. <laughs> and um we are we are currently trying to retake our, our artifacts from them to regain some of our, our heritage and lost history. Those fucking fucks. <laughs> yeah, fucking, they're fucking stupid 
<laughs> Stupidness. Gosh dang sacred land. <laughs> this is our land and we need it. <laughs> you have to quell the rebellion. Yeah, they, they're trying to... He hit his head really back. hard. Yeah. yeah. Why do you want to go back? It doesn't seem very great. I I need to learn the, the history of my people so I can better understand what it really is my purpose in life, because all I know is serving my people, and I... It it, it it grows tiresome. Hey, with slaves. I'm growing tired just trying to listen. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that boy, anyways? That boy. Just left. That boy. <laughs> boy. I'm a boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. hasn't been an hour yet? Uh, <laughs> it two hours. It'll take him a few hours to uh, go do that part, but uh, you guys were uh, talking about plotting to, uh, was it to either sabotage and set the both sides of the pirates in the area against each other, or were you planning on swiping the uh, money from the Marines? Like, I heard a little bit of both plans kind of being tossed around. I, that was my idea. If we're going to go for the bounty, I think we should uh, stir them up a little bit. First I'm hearing about it. When did you guys come up with this plan? You are there. You were here. Oh, you were there. <laughs> you were off gallivanting. I say we do both. Yeah, why not? We could split up. <laughs> Maybe Kilgore shouldn't do shouldn't go to the Marines. Maybe we shouldn't know. at all. Shouldn't what? Go to the Marines. I think they have more resources than we do. We should probably not fuck with them. I mean, if one of us was very sneaky and was able to get in there in and out. You're gonna rock yeah, if one of us wanted to. You'd need someone very fast and stealthy. You're going to rob the military, Rick? <laughs> I, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I think she. Do you want, want a bounty? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Just Anga and I go yes, I would love the it. Pirates. Well, hold on. Let my man work you. You know, Joan, we got a plan. It's not going to be an overnight <laughs> overthrow of the government situation. <laughs> I still suggest Tonga and I go for the pirates while you, the rest of you go for the Marines. Well, it'd be pretty hard for Marines, me to though. sneak into the Marines. I'm kind of. Hey. You could jump them. That woman is 12 feet tall. <laughs> I could jump them. Just punt them. <laughs> she, all of them? Yeah. Body slam all of them at once. <laughs> I could body slam at least six of them. At the same time. You know it's going to take me some time to work on the ship even after we have all the resources. <laughs> oh, I'm the military. Um, make a great escape. Like, what's your plan? Without the ship. <laughs> Listen, that's why I was like, we got to be stealthy. That way we can just go in and out without them noticing. But I can't do that. I'm not stealthy. And I don't want to. So what's the other plan? <laughs> <laughs> I love the planning here. <laughs> I say... We get two of us get the Marines to chase us towards one of the groups of pirates. Listen, get those pirates. I feel like we're being set up right now. Hello, hear right? me out. Hear me out. We get the Marines to go towards one group of pirates, and while that group is fighting the Marines, we take their treasure. You look, here, here's the plan. All right, we are getting my boy Rory to get some. some uh, merchandise from one of the fire groups. We're gonna make it look like one group stole from the other. You following me? That feels believable. Thank you. And well, then... he's taking too long. <laughs> he's <laughs> We understand your impatience, but he's a little boy. I'm like, geez, you want this man to go get some uh, incredulous evidence in 10 minutes? 
That, that, that's well, a I'm... big order. <laughs> Captain, do I have permission to go f- help this boy? No. <laughs> People pull up and be like, oh yeah, I'm looking for the kid who came here by the job. <laughs> you don't that's not suspicious at all. <laughs> you don't know me, boy, do you? You don't know me. <laughs> Captain, do I have permission to go find this boy and help him? Mm. He doesn't, need your, he doesn't need your help. <laughs> You're gonna get him killed. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I think you would get him killed. <laughs> What's your plan? You're gonna pull up and be like, I'm looking for my informant. <laughs> <laughs> no. Twelve year old boy as, about the age old. <laughs> as they're all as they're all joking around, they see me start to morph into a horse. Jesus Christ. Just <laughs> <laughs> animorph style. Does your horse form always have wings? It takes yeah. three minutes to transform. <laughs> <laughs> You're all just like, do we do something in this office? What? <laughs> this is turning into a horse! <laughs> it's like, oh, God. Maybe it's unrelated to us. I don't know. He's like, it hurts so much. <laughs> Maybe while we're waiting for Rory to come back, we can try and salvage my ship to see if there's anything we can use for the new ship. And then uh, other people could go and like find supplies like food or anything we need for a voyage. Yeah. That's fair. I mean, if you guys are going to go uh, make some supplies from the town go missing, might as well throw them on the ship. Oh, yeah. in the town we live in. Oh, maybe you can even find, like, parts for the ship. And, you know, yeah, everybody knows we live in that ship. They're like, oh, I wonder where who put this in their house. Yeah, we live here. <laughs> <laughs> I still go. You don't work steel from the town you live in, bro. Like, <laughs> Tell that they came people. in here, they're like, now we know how this town works. I don't live here, though. So It's all like, well, dude, we- where's my mast? <laughs> yeah, reputation. <laughs> dude, where's my mast? You're about to leave? With you? Yeah. You want to come in back? <laughs> I don't see the problem here. We're pirates. I'm still in horse form, and I and you guys just hear the horse talk. So what's the plan? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I think, um, I think, how do you say your name? Kilogor. Call me Chibi. Okay, I think me and Chibi should go to my old ship and salvage what we can. And then the rest of you can go find, like, food and supplies and whatever you can pay for it or you can steal it i don't care i don't think you should steal it i think you should haul that bucket of ale down here yeah no <laughs> I think we'll be and we'll load up the gear that i have a long time <laughs> the gear that i have that's not stealing from anyone else i I, I, I should stock up on you know medicinal yeah items. there you go give you, give you some medicinal I, stuff Someone get food. Someone get whatever. We'll go to our ship. Stop. Oh, we'll be nice. back here. <laughs> we'll meet up at the hand. ship. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be here. I live here. <laughs> You're gonna need a hand. <laughs> well, we gotta go to my old ship first. Yeah. I'll be here. All right. <laughs> so you are going to salvage gonna that for a, as much as you can. Yeah. Yeah. Do I'll you have... have a cart, Tonga? Yes. Okay. Well, h- hitch the cart up to me, and I'll pull it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Someone in the town's like, that's a nice horse you got. How much for the horse? <laughs> I'm not for sale. Love How much you got? <laughs> no, no, that that might be a good scam. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, yeah, true. Look, he talks. They pay, they pay for, uh, a horse and five then he transforms back and then he just leaves. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> no, 
they Tonga sells me. He they bring <laughs> me back to the barn, and I show up a few minutes later in human form. Yeah, you, wait, they, like, you just you break out. Barn. Yeah, Breaking just, out of the you, barnyard with this one. Like, I came here because I saw a horse running from this direction. I wanted to let you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> one of the pirate crews are stealing horses. <laughs> I would only work one or two times. <laughs> mm. Horse with wings, that can make some money. Colors so we can That's why you need horses. to sell me on one side of the island. And then sell me on the opposite. <laughs> million very for a talking horse. <laughs> Is that the plan? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> maybe do like how excited you are. Maybe the wing if horse. Anyone is asking, horse. I'll that's the answer I'll give them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> But so, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, take you back to our shop. I'll uh, load up a car with some a barrel of the, the ale that I made. And I'll have uh, Chibiusa make a uh, check for the shipwright stuff. Uh, let's just uh, say a intelligence check, plus your proficiency with your uh, shipbuilding tools and stuff. Because you're kind of trying to like, figure out how to properly break down the, the whole uh, smaller ship to build into your current one. So here's a normal roll. What do I add to that? Yeah, you'll add your uh, intelligence modifier. So plus two. And your and proficiency. Two. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so I'm just like, uh, which would be your, uh, I guess, carpenter's tools, yep. Oh, okay. And that's also a plus two? Oh, cool. You can actually select the modifier you want to use when you make the roll with a tool. Uh, okay. By default, it's already set to uh, intelligence. So you just hit your carpenter's tools and make a roll. <laughs> you look at this thing and you're just like uh, it's like some wood <laughs> it's wood you're like let's just yeah, tote back I'm over there and figure it is made cool. of wood I mean you are scavenger right so yeah, yeah I wouldn't be able to do it but you would be able to take part uh, I'm not a scavenger if she can give you advantage on the roll by like uh, pointing out key points of the ship since she's familiar with it, so you can make another roll. That's true. Yeah, but it, it stands to reason. I just know how to like tear it apart. <laughs> the combination of shipwright and demolition experts uh, come together. Yeah. Well, that's a four. Damn. Are you adding your modifiers? Yeah, plus advantage. Dang. It just I just clicked the carpenter tools and said it should add it right. Yeah. So, you, as far as you're under, as you uh, know, looking at this, you're like, break it apart, and we'll we'll figure it out once we get there. <laughs> it's just your general attitude. <laughs> Don't break. Let me get my stuff off the ship dinner. first. It's good wood. It's good wood. <laughs> it's good wood. Damn, <laughs> good wood. This won't affect your ability to. Uh, build with it it's just like you're like oh well, this is gonna be a time <laughs> okay the ship in the with the with the wood in the forest next to my house growing up i could tell <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile back with the rest of the party that's just like yeah. you, loading you. up a, a cart um, so, yeah, so I'll put you know a bunch of the fish fresh catch on there. I'll put you know a barrel or two of the stuff that I've made, and I got some uh, cursory like ammo, you know. Yeah, so like, all uh, your extra stuff that you've got, you can just add that to the ship inventory if you want. Nice, nice. 
and hooray for ship inventory because that makes things a lot easier. Yeah. The the ship is classified as a caravel. So. Caravel. Oh, uh, whatever. I might have to mess with that sheet a bit. And as uh, you're going through town, you do... Uh... Hold on. You, you see an argument break out between a couple of the vendors at, as Rory's just kind of like slipping away in the into the crowd. All and right. uh, Tonga and uh, I want each of you three to make a perception check. Okay. Calgor uh, and Snyder as well. All right, Calgor. Perception. perception. Uh, I swear, someone's going to nickname you at some point. <laughs> I got a. 16? Yeah, plus your modifier. Uh, 18. Okay. And what did uh, you two get? Um, <sighs> nope. No, I got a... Uh... Okay, so... As you're uh, walking next to uh, Calgore, uh, and Snyder's just kind of like walking behind the cart to make sure nothing like falls out or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, Tonga, you in Calgore, uh, while well, he's in horse form, uh, look at this uh, commotion uh, going on uh, about 30 feet in front of you, and you see like a glimpse of what looks to be a little person about three four inches tall just like dash in and dash out it carrying a leak like a like the <laughs> onion okay <laughs> oh what a leak like an onion oh and it just like disappears right one. into the crowd like it, it, it's a split second and you're like what did i just see <laughs> and we're sense. And we're going to end it right there, because that's, that's time. So, you know. <laughs> All right. No, no, no. We're not ending it like that. <laughs> One second. Oh, he's got sound effects. Bird. I'm not sure if y'all will be able to hear it. I hear something. I don't know what it is. Hang on. That's fun. There's nothing more powerful than you. Set up for next time. Hang on. We'll, we'll have things better set up next time, but I think this was a good first session to kind of get the party bonded and ready to go. Yeah, I agree.